Welcome everyone. We are a little bit late than usual live into the stream. I'm gonna show you the first game, even if it's about to finish or finish already, I don't know. But I'm gonna go in fast speed. You know, we have the the first game here. I'm gonna go in fast speed and then we see at least and we can see how they played. We have Alfred the Alpaca and Jan Siska. Do you know? And uh, boom, boom, boom. We want to see. You know, we want to see who they can be. You know, Alfred Alpaca, Portuguese, Jan Siska, Vietnam. You know? Who Mems thinks is blue? Let's see. Let's see. Is Vietnam versus Portuguese? I don't know what I prefer here, but, uh, but let's see, you know? Ooh. Okay. Two villains on wood. I don't know who they are because I just started, so let's see. Let's see, let's see. Alfred the Alpaca, Jan Siska. Wallin. House, Palisade, full walls. Two villains on wood for everyone. Okay. Okay, okay. Two wood lines. Go in front. If the game finishes, guys, don't spoil me. I know that they are just casting uh, this game, so I will catch up with the, the with the double speed. Also, they take usually a while, so it's fine. And then we will go for the other. How was the lunch? Was good. Was really good. But I'm here ready to rumble, okay? My goodness. You think who people is thinking these players are? I will analyze, guys. I will analyze the 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 bots tonight after the end this stream, and tomorrow I will let you know who I think the players are. You know, I will let you know. Okay. He has the bar right now. I mean, the map is... I know that I'm doing double speed. With double speed, we can analyze who they are. I don't know. This is not wall. Just archie range. And now, hitting that one. Archie range as well. Okay, no scouts. Do it as course Cola. Now doing the loom. One, two, three farmers. All right. Well, for now, blue economy is really good. Red economy is really good as well. Okay. Fue que bien. Comprueba eso de abajo, a ver si es que no estaba dado. Que lo has cambiado. Okay, look at those skirmishes. Sorry, my wife was talking to me. She always talks to me when I am streaming. We always with problems. Too defensive for Hera? Uh, Hera is defensive player. Who said that 
Hera is not a defensive player. I don't think Hera is an aggressive player. You know? Okay! Hera wouldn't full wall in Dark Age? Why not? Why he, he wouldn't full wall in Dark Age? <laughs> I have seen him following full wall in Dark Age more than one time. Not only him, many players. Okay, we have four villains more. He's going to cancel it slower. Okay. Still have a lot of skirmishes, red with a lot of archers. And now let's see the micro. Micro is gonna also give a lot of details on Arabia, remember. I don't think the box formation thing is important. Definitely not. It doesn't matter. Red also did the box formation right now. Not anymore. He's coming. Let's go and check blue. Blue reaction here. It's not losing any Belir there. Yeah, not a single Belir. It's microing really well, controlling the units very well as well. And now with the least skirmishes, he has a knight coming. Hand card is an, an insane upgrade core for Vietnam. Look at the economy. Two extra tone centers. While Red is going for a siege war shop for double archery range. Not the best economy. Well, I know I'm watching in fast speed because we need to catch up, but yeah, Blue is playing very solid. Like very solid. Let's see his reaction. Insta reaction. Okay. Going to the right side. This will do another Lambert cam. Took ability here. Red doesn't have the greatest economy. And it's still on one tone center only. Definitely not the way to go. Plus two armor as well. And now the university. Ooh! Villa down. Two Mangonels, very, like, well, Blue has lost one unit. It's not that he killed it a lot, but he has lost one unit in the whole game. One, two, three Mangonels, crossbows. Oh, careful here. Gonna take this one too. He's trying to be very aggressive, but... Yeah, I'm just going for the double speed. Remember, guys, that... I'm with double speed because uh, the whole tournament is recorded games and we're trying to see... Oh my god, they're still with one unit loss only. It's true that he's not killing a lot, but... Oh, the control for both players is solid. Yep. But he is still with one unit loss in the whole game. Ah oh, no, it's the Echo KD. The KD there is taking the double. It's just the Echo KD, sorry. Taking more army here. But it's still... Oh. Okay. Didn't lose anything. There's a tower, now Ballistic. This is a very solid gameplay. No, didn't kill it. And now? He lost a villager. You got to be careful. Good man gonna shot, but at the same time he's attacking in front. He's gonna try to control this, he's not controlling this. Now he did. He lost a little bit, but he's focusing completely in the north. He still have, guys, right now, 40 billions more. 40 billions more, which is a lot. It's really, really a lot. Sticking the mangrove, he's gonna take the crossbows. Population is insane. He's on the way to Imperial, and I really believe that he will be able to dominate from there. Well, he dominated already. I think Red will resign and then we will go into game number two. The economy difference is just, it's just insane. Really, really insane.
Yeah, Ballistic for Red. But when you have 68 Ballistic and your opponent has 110, you only know that you are absolutely... Beep! You know what I mean, guys? Beep! Yeah, he's missing Heavy Blow, no hand card. He's having hand card long ago. Coming out with the crossbows, he's fully wall on the right, but still. Okay. Oh, two Magnus down. But I think it's time to call it. Mr. Alfred the Alpaca. It's not? Okay. So what you gonna do against the plus three? He's trying to get the resources. Okay. He keep trying. But check the population difference, guys. Oh my god. Population difference. My goodness. Yeah, he called it. He was completely dead. And Jan Siska... Ah, with this population, the way he did... Top four. It's only the first game. But I feel that top four... Anyway, we're gonna keep going little by little and now check game number two, okay? Well, let's wait, you know, let's wait. Okay, next map is Bay. I will play an ad, guys. And we will catch up the live streams very soon, guys. Very soon, okay? Okay or not? Yeah. Hello, Roxar. I will check. They are in 13 minutes. So we will catch up very soon. Okay, we have guys. Jan Siska, Bengalis, Alfred Alfaka, Italians. Bengalis versus Italians. In a map like this, Bengalis, when the mobility can be very important, not the best civilization to have mobility. Might be good for the extra police and also the galleys might be strong, but I'm not sure, guys. Rather watch in real time the, the exciting part and catch up. Well, not me. I want to catch up because if we do what did you say, we never catch up and then we get spoiled and I don't want that. You send red Super Sebastian vibes? Mm, could be. Could be. And we're gonna catch up very soon and then we're gonna be live completely. So be patient. Be patient. Jan Siska is here I hundred percent. I cannot sell after only one game. Why you say that? Because he has only one eye. Is that why? Because with only one eye he can play this great? Maybe. Bettings? Well, if the mods open the bettings, I'm I'm down. You know, I'm really down. Five is a wood. He has now the ships at the back and he can't see it. Please be be patient with me, guys. I just came from a lunch, you know. I didn't even change. You can see that I'm with my trousers and everything, you know. I'm six in mode activated. You know? And uh, I took a uh, small drink, you know? So, let's see, guys. Let's see. Okay. Loom. Already up. We will catch up the live game soon, and we'll be with all the action. And then we can analyze a lot more. Red is going up super fast. Blue quite late for this map he's gonna try fast castle maybe i don't know but this half time is is upward for this map Yes, now he's saving that 
That is Scout. He's doing two fire galleys. I think he has the two galleys already there. He's not doing the second. Now he is. We'll try to commit. Otherwise, he will lose everything on water. So, what is Blue going to do? He will need a mill. Otherwise, seed of food. Yep. He's losing the fish. Really fast. Like, really, really fast. Two fire galleys. He need to repair. He's not doing. And Blue lost the water basically instantly. Which is really bad. For those people that think that this guy is Hera 100%. Losing the, the water like this, it doesn't lose too much for Hera. 1 minute 20 seconds idle TC. I mean, this start is a disaster, you know? Disaster, I will say. But let's see. Everyone can have a bad game. Yep. See the lesson buried, now the farmers. Too much TC for Hera? Well, he lost the fish. It can happen, but... If he recovered the water, maybe. In almost... Yeah, in 3-4 minutes, we're alive completely, guys. Well, if Blue is able to come back from this, then maybe it's Hera. Oh, my lord. He's controlling the army now very well, like he got. Yeah, pretty much. A really good play here by Blue, controlling absolutely everything. And now, check the population. Yeah, he's behind because of the idol TC, but he has controlled the water really well. Ooh, the demo, he has split those. Need to go and kill it. We'll do it. Oh, the demo. Ooh, red sloppy. Really sloppy. No fletching. What means with the fletching? That he has archers also attacking. He's trying to make a couple of gates here to block him. But he's trying to control the archers here. And controlling them with fletching for sure. This is market. Archie range is going to finish the gate probably. But he's being annoying. He's controlling this very well. You can see the line, the circle line here to control the limits that he cannot cross. But now he's going. And... The whole miners are there. Palisade gate. Good one. Not anymore. Okay. Well, he's doing damage. Check now. How he is doing well, man. Castle Age, but Blue is also on the way to Castle Age. Recovering, recovering really, really well. You know? Really, really well. Okay, we are almost live. Uh, they, they are live on 23. We are in 2035. So, almost there, guys. Horse collar now and stable barracks, stable archer range. Okay, I will remove the, the line, these two, and he's gonna go light caps, I believe. Not the, the, the best farmers. I think Blue has controlled the units really well. That he's he has recovered the water is absolutely amazing. I'm bad because you want to be with Italians controlling this, but it's not happening, right? One, two tone centers. Light caps, forging. TC on the right side. Siege workshop. He's five population ahead. Really good. Almost live, guys. The family lunch was good. Well, you didn't miss too much. I have so with the first game in fast speed, and I'm showing this in fast speed. Till a minute. In one minute, we are live. So we will see the casting completely with my casting. Should be great, right? That I'm being paying attention to also come as quick as possible. 30 Cs, 30 C as well. Yeah, he's so ready with the fishing ships and the village ahead. I think we are li we are live in in uh, no time. We are live, guys, and now we go normal speed. Beautiful. 
We catch up, guys. We are live completely. And we can analyze now even more. 69, 67. Get in the village here. Got it. He has killed six, four. Still six population more killed. I want to see also some positions where they... Oh, 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 oh. That man, who is this? Finally, man. We need it, man. Yeah, we need it. It's the first subscriber, not even a follower, not subscribers, not nothing. We need the alerts to, 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 to dominate. The gentleman, I'm super strong. One, two, three, four tone centers. Now monastery with the Bengalis is what you need. The monks, siege war shop, and the uh, blue. It's already really ahead with the echo, which in my opinion is really nice because he really was behind here with over a mini title TC in the early game and managed to recover. It's, it's quite impressive, I would say, yes. Okay. Need the amigo. Yeah, I mean, what it makes me think that Jan Siska has to be a top four player or a very strong one is that with a very early idle TC and losing the water, he managed to recover the water and be now ahead in everything. In everything. So, it's a strong, man. Can be tattooed. No. I've been analyzing the bot. Oh my god. Solibus! Vamos! Swolbus has just donated 25 euros. Mr. Paella Man. Thank you so much, Paella. Um, I was analyzing. I didn't have a lot of time this morning. I will analyze the rest of the bot after this stream, and tomorrow I will come to you with the top eight. Okay? Tomorrow, before the quarterfinals, I will come to you and with the facts why they are the players. I don't okay, care guys? Who are they. I, don't I need to care analyze. If one of them, Viper or Hera. I'm here for not hitting Caster, Memtvor. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, analyzing, having all the all the games played, then you can compare one or the others. Small details, you know, with the macro, with the decisions, with the civilizations, with the draft, with the maps. You have to compare everything to know all them. Siska picked islands. It can be Hera. Hera usually pick islands. Yeah. Okay. Be careful. He lost gear, not a village, but still. Blue has lost more. He has quite a lot of idols. 27 idols. That's a lot of idols. Need to be quicker than this. But he's attacking at the same time here. Oh, baby. Losing another village, he's already 9 villages lost. And even like that, he's still 11 ahead. Oh boy. Okay, let's see now the battle. The battle here is so important. Let's see the man go, no! Ooh, he lost one, almost two. Lost the second one. Ay, 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 he killed quite some. And now the lives are gonna take over with those. The scorpions need to kill those, but need to be careful. And going back, it's still blue. It's having a very impressive macro. It's still 21 idols. But he's ahead in villages by quite a bit. He has also Wilbar. Well, he has the same economy average, so it's okay. Now he's gonna mine his stone. And military numbers, nothing super impressive. Two Mangonos, three Scorpions, two Monks, and three Light Caps. Red is on the way to Imperial because Italians is cheaper to go up. And that's, that's solid. But he has 11 villages on the queue. Oh my God. Good shot. Whoa! Billiard down! Send the order! He went right away to the mangonel and left the scorpion. Because he knows that the mangonel is more important. Why he sent now the mangonel lonely? No, man, that's really bad. That's really bad. Well, he take at least a scorpion, but the mangonel is coming from behind. He's gonna do another mangonel. But timing and momentum to be in Imperial is here. Problem is that Jan Siska has a brutal boom, 20 villains more. 
Twin Beetle is more, which is definitely not bad. Now he has 17 arches. Oh, he's gonna go Condottieris? Condottieris has to be. Hmm. No way, Red is Leary. Don't think Red is Leary. I think it's too slow for me for Leary. I'm checking a lot about the, the, the mechanics. D90 chat is spamming Leary, then 10 is clearly not Leary. D90 chat is spam, then me, it's the opposite, guys. Remember, okay? Remember. Okay, can take the mangrove now. But don't tell, guys, or I never get invited again. I never say that. The economy is better for Siska. It's true that the blue red doesn't have ballistic. Yeah, Lee usually doesn't get ballistic too early. But for me, it's being slow. Lee is much faster with the army control, I think. I mean, seriously. Ah, I mean, sending the army there is not the thing. But we'll see. Do I believe he's Hera? He's not controlling the army as smooth as Hera. Yeah, Lee will never go counter Terry. I agree. We'll do our ballista 100%. Well, the elephants are there, like us as well. Blue is on the way to build with 140 villages, man. 140 villages, you know. Crazy. Eight RT range is going with the least skirmishes. Okay. Elephants and elephant archers. Mangoles are coming. This army is so strong. So strong. Let's see. He's going to go back or not? Red is still not doing any with the archers. And I really believe that this is more important than the Condottieri. We'll see. I might be wrong. Oh, my God. Trying to go with the units. He has the mangrel here. And now Blue is trying to control the army. As good as possible. We didn't take that mangonel. He's doing now the plus three blue, ballistic and plus four, but he's still not doing the plus three for his range units. I think it's a wall here. It's not walling, but everything is walled in the other side, right? Yeah, more or less. Except this area. You could palisade gate. We have some good army, but these condottieris are also solid, as you can see. Taking some good kills. Has 20 bullets more, and ready now with the condottieri here. Castle here? What? What is that castle? I don't know! Oh, Iron Man! The castle is pop, 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 pop. The galleys, by the way, didn't make a single castle either, which is surprising. Now he will, on his face. Oh, wow. He's definitely really on his face. Oh, man. He didn't go. Look at the gate, house, stone wall, more walls. He's gonna be able to do the job or not? Okay, not bad, it's not failing. He's gonna make the castle. 
Could be a little bit smoother, but he's doing a good job. The trebuchet is here. The castle will be up. You need more army. He has so many bullets, but now red also 145 with a lot more army. So blue is in some kind of troll if he's losing this one. He should definitely repair also because he has no other tre no other castle. He will need the upgrades also. Bengalis need pikes upgrade, right? It's how it's called. Okay. The elephants attack faster. You know, less army, but probably stronger. At home, still getting ready. Is he reacting? Not really. And now he's losing quite some bullets. He still have more even than his opponent, but this is not good. Threat, use raid. He's in the plus two armor. With the Trevor, he's gonna try to kill the other Trevor. The elephants are definitely dealing with the Condor Theory. These chemists don't do anything. But Blue seems to be holding all the time. Even with the raid here, he lost quite a lot of villages. 36 villages lost. 36 villages lost. Doesn't matter. He's doing the job with the Dan Bengalis. Oh, man. The Elephantis are not elite, and now there is more red in. He's not walling here. Still have good population, but uh, Blue is in troubles. In real troubles now. Okay. All the tears here are being annoying. Blue cannot really spam a crazy amount of farm. Oh! No, he deleted, I believe. Well, I, I, I think so. He has a lot of stone anyway. Need to wall, and he's walling in the last second, the gate. And this castle is down. You have two traps here, but... This is dangerous, man. It's dangerous for blue. He's still with the score lead, but he's still getting raided constantly, which is annoying. Like, really, really annoying. And now, he's losing all the army, man. All the army in front, and it looks like Alfred the Alpaca, it's winning the game. Well, I didn't see the first game in the way, the best way, because it was with the fast speed. Now this fast speed, that's what looks to me that Blue is, is Hera at all. Why people was telling 100% Hera? For me, this is not Hera. Not even close to be that kind of a player. I might be wrong. But I mean, I need to see more games, you know? Because now the Condottieri is kind of tricky, you know? Elite Geno is cross woman. Whoa. Twenty-two army, forty-two, twenty-four bullets behind only. Okay. Well, blue still have a good amount of elephants. The elephants might be fine completely against the Condottieris, but are they gonna be fine against the Genoese? No. And right now, one hundred twenty-five Condottieri makes that the Alfred the Alpaca made a domination. Who is Blue Dane? There is 16 players. The problem is that for you guys, everyone is Viper, uh, Hera, and that's it. Leary, yo, uh, and maybe Tatot as well. They are all the same 16 players. The other doesn't exist. My goodness. Okay. Let me update the score. 1-1. One, one. Need to analyze, man. Can be hard. Well, it's two games only. Let's see. I will try to analyze now the draft. I didn't have time. 3,000 resources more. And in this one, Jan Siska didn't impress me at all. Four minutes later to Imperial. Very, very late. I will play an ad, guys. 
and I will show you the brutality draft. I think I have prepared. Yes, I do. This is one. One. I will put Alfred Alpaca. Yeah, that is better. Italians lost. No, actually, Italians won. Portuguese lost. And what he won now, it was Vietnam he won, Bengalis lost. Arabia was for Siska and the Bay for Alpaca. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, the next game is going to be, guys, Cross. We're going to have Cross in the next one. Okay. Okay, okay. We will see now who they are going to to be clinic cap is great because we, we 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 get to see doubt versus doubt in every game that's good for the fan boys agreed that's very good for the fan boys completely agree holy moly my goodness people on the youtube don't forget to thumb ups okay vamos alpaca is definitely hard okay why We don't know what we saw it. We don't know what we saw it. Okay. Checking, guys. Checking. Kaffer, thank you for the 23 moons. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Then we will know. I will try to give you tomorrow my predictions. You know, when we have all the games and analyze, yeah, we, we can then talk a lot more. I usually accurate with the with the top eight, you know? With the top eight, amigos. With the top eight. Okay. Game three is there. Okay, okay. Yeah, let me see the next game, guys. Cross. Right, guys? We say it cross and uh, okay. We're getting into Lever to Statot. I was checking today, Sean, the bot of the well, a few games, and I think Tatot probably played in the first day, you know. Yep. How is was called the hero in the second series? No, 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 not Vasco de Gama. I think Vasco de Gama is a very fast player. But then Saman Guru, it was more about the strategies. He wasn't having the, the, the same army control, but was having crazy macro. And I think Tatot is better on that, you know? Okay, I have to pause a bit, guys, because I went too fast. I went too fast, guys. <laughs> and now I am ahead, you know? So Manguru is not Tatot mostly? Give me a reason. Give me a reason why he's not Tatot. He took too many balloons in the first game. Well... You think Viper, Liu, Hera, and so and so on will take many by the booms? Oh boy. Okay.
I think Jadviga. I think Jadviga was. Um, Sebastian or Mihai. Maybe Hart. I don't know. Not one of the top. Not one of the top four. And then he was playing against NBL. You know? But what I will try to give you tomorrow is the name of the of the eight that won. You know? Because it's impossible to give the, the, the 16. But I think I will be able to give you tomorrow the eight winners. What you give me, guys, is I give you the eight winners yeah. tomorrow. I thought Gajamada was started. Well, guys, you know why I have to analyze? Because with Gajamada, this is the problem that for me, maybe I'm too old, it give me the hidden card. I need to check the bots again because the names, I don't remember the games. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I don't have time to do that Localo when I'm casting. I control it a lot of things, overlays, and that's why I need to rewatch a little bit. You know? Yeah, I you tell me, Gatamaya, and I don't remember the games. It doesn't come to me. That's the problem Hidden Cap bring. Then I have to rewatch a little. You know? I remember games, but no names. You know, I remember some gameplays, stuff they did, but I don't remember the names. That's my problem, you know? It's, and I'm controlling several things, you know? Anyway, uh, cross with Hans versus Malai. Hans versus Malai. Okay, there is two players that played Hans, and it was Mihai and Winchester, you know? Mihai and Winchester. Someone else? Mm -mm -mm. Probably not. Red is going up very quick. Blue, it's walling everything. And it's walling like crazy. And actually, this is a cheat, a cheat map. So easy to wall. Oh my god. Well, with this way, you know, pretty sick. Well, I can tell you that I think 100% the player who was the hands of the day and made the palisades here, that was Winchester. You know? That was Winchester. Yeah, yeah because I rewatched it and in the bot, he made a pause and say, sec, drop, 14. So let's see. Red is gonna make another dog. Don't watch. Okay. Now he's doing the dog. Alright. Man, it's too many games. Can't, can't believe that. I'm thinking the previous game and I don't even remember. Let me refresh. Check it in the second monitor. Alfred Alfaka. One with Vietnam, Jan Siska. Then. Yeah, Italians is just. Uh, it, it makes a great transition. Blue has now a dog here. This is an archery range. Blue looks like she's tall. I don't know. Just double dog here. Double dot here. And then the dog, the outside, he's now. See, okay. So cancel the fishing event, do another galley. Exactly what he did. And a double dog. Too much control of the pawns. Okay. Blue can be the viper, not with one eye only. 
If it was one hand, maybe. With one eye, no. No. Okay, two houses here. Have to be careful. She's the on wood. 12 more, 19 villas on wood. The walls are crazy, he's doing another dog. And this is already five dogs, which is crazy. But Jan Siska is with Malai. You see the Viper because he lost Malai and Fish Boom? Can be, I don't think that blue is extremely fast as a player. He's sending here six villas. Blue is barrels, guys. Barrels, too. I think blue is barrels. And red. It can be... Yeah, we'll never send this amount of the list. Blue is balls and red is Mihai. This is my bet. Winchester lost all the day. You know? I don't feel that these top four players playing right now. You know? They're playing solid, but... It's true that Red is on the way to Castleage. Very fast. But that's normal. He didn't spend anything to wall. He has the galleys. It's very, very useful to go really fast to Castleage in this one. Yeah. I don't think it's Mihai. Well, I say Mihai because Mihai is a fast player, but without being a... A uh, top uh, four, then because he picked the hands, and because we have to say me hi one time, one time at least. Yes, but he doesn't need to do it here because he see he has control the map all the time. Look, he did outpost. He has the tone watch. He has the, he see the place is going on both pawns, so he doesn't need to do those palisades. And then he's picking the hands. So you don't need to make those palisades all the time. And he did one time only. We'll see. Yeah, yes, we'll see. And now he's walling completely. He's gonna wall this area? Time will tell. He need now the, uh, the cap archers, but he's doing what? A siege war shop forward. Hmm. Very interesting here. Yeah, he has feast traps already. Not many people do feast traps that early. You know? The crazy fish boom. Boom, 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 boom. I will do, if you see the siege coming, I will do a monastery as well. Then you go monk's redemption. And. It's pretty sick economy with Malai. Also, Barls can make the gameplay he did on Arabia. He didn't go super quick up. It was over 20 minutes, right? Blue can be Jordan. I think Jordan lost all the day 4-0. The series that was for Zero, I think in the Gregory 7, I think that was Jordan for me. This red is there the Bridge of Terror 7? No. The guy that T90 people said it was. Just said it was Winchester? Mihai was the guy T90 chat said it was Winchester? Who Mihai? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm confused. Too many names. 
Look at the houses here. Oh my god. Nikov says Gregory is Tatot, so Tatot lost 4 0. Tato lost 4 0. That's why Nikov don't qualify to the tournaments anymore. He lost his touch, man. What the hell, man? Gonna be. Gonna lose Tatot 4 0. My goodness. For me, no chance that Tato lose 4 0. I don't say that he cannot lose, but 4 0? In these settings? Tatot? Not even against Hera. You know? Ooh, baby! Bada boom! But if you can notice, I don't feel that the gameplay from these pies is any of those super quick players. I mean, you can feel it. You know? It's more a macro game, it's low pace, not top four players. Winchester, guys, is a very fast player as well. Very fast player. Pity that we don't have the APM, but. You can notice, you know. And we still lose against players that kind of out macro him and also put him some pressure too. Not in these kind of situations. Okay. Uh, yeah, just look. This reaction, he's not really reacting here. That's never Hera. Never Hera. It's very slow reaction, as you can see. This is... Yeah, Malai can be Ganji Bal's gameplay. But I think this is Bal's. And then Red. Uh... Yeah, it could be Mihai, I think. Red. You know? Anyway, let's analyze more the games. It's stupid to be talking about who they are instead of focus on the gameplay. And the gameplay say that the hands with 50 bellies his opponent 53 is similar, but 7 fishing ships, 15 fishing ships, you know? And right now, with fish traps from a lie that lasts forever. I don't think he did Gilnez, now he's doing the Bozo. And no horse collar, horse collar for red. He's gonna make now, what, the market? Because he has, no, not really a lot of resources to balance. And we need to focus on the action, okay? I like this table. With a couple of knights you can clean. Well, maybe three knights. No, those three straps are perfect. You know? This is Barl's 100%. 100%. Barl's or Ganji? But I don't think Ganji will play on Arabia as smooth as he did. Barl's can play on Arabia really good. Like, really, really... Oh! Bam! Two mangonels for one. Okay. Big Balaboom. You gotta be careful. Need to make the castle. Still having a lot of idols. Yeah, he has. Yeah, the castle will be up. But he's not controlling the village. He's lost a lot of village here when he has, you know, even another safe wood here. One is Corbin that he's not bringing. Double Siege War Shop. He could make fish as well here. A lot of fish. Look at the wood. So, yeah. And he's doing now. Wow. This caster, man, he synchronized it with the players even in recorded games. I'm so proud about myself, guys. I'm sorry to say, but I'm very, very proud about myself. I'm sorry, really. It's, it's what it is, you know? It is what it is. I don't want to be disrespectful, you know? Definitely not, but... But I'm gonna tell you that I also checked the T90 chat predictions. Remember that they love for is nothing and low Elo Legends games. Stay tuned. Archers, mangonels, be careful there. Okay. Okay, one, two, three TCs. Yeah, man, I mean. Can you imagine, guys? I, I hope that 
that they they invited me to Kokaz again, and then I will tell that exactly. I will ask Tristan, eight hey, Tristan. I have seen the prediction for your chat, but I hear rumors that your chat lost love for nothing and uh, lol elo legends how they can predict exactly the plays that are going to be playing you have to tell me man i need to know <laughs> yeah they said okay 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 look and look bam Bam bam! You know? Definitely it's. Uh, you know? Okay. But Mihai also play Black Forest sometimes. Well, Pinchester does too. Sito also does, but in these kind of things, with all this battle. I think that could be more me high. For Sebastian? No, but Sebastian is very fast. I don't feel that... Is me high very fast with the APM? How fast is me high controlling? I don't remember good the mechanics from me high. That's my issue. You know? Okay. Similar to Seba. He's very fast too. Sito is not that fast, right? Yeah, I don't think that Sito is that fast. Oh, Red is dead for sure. It's 40 bullets behind. You know, like, he's up to Imperial, but he's completely dead. I only gifted subs before, but from now on, it's definitely time to get the support to another level. Memsub. Thank you so much, Mr. Garrick. Thank you, man. Well, I don't think that we will forget the time we met in NAC, right? So it, it helps to, to connect with the people, right? Thank you so much, amigo. Appreciate it. Look at the castle here. Look at the castle. One, two castles. Now with the four mangonels. Yep. And I, I, I mean, with the, maybe the next games I will think differently, but I really think blue is bottles. It's very, very, very balls gameplay here. Going with the Malai, with the with the fish traps, with the crazy fish boom, you know. And then now going for just the Imperial with the crazy population. It's not that all the players cannot do it, but I don't think he was super fast. He lost also quite some villains in this area. I'm, th I'm thinking that Viper, Hera, all those can do this strategy for sure, but it would be smoother than, than Blue did here. He did good, but it could be done better, right? It could be done better, I believe. Okay. He has some good army. This is 108 population. Okay. But those Carabits... Not elite. He's doing a castle on top of that hill. But Red has basically one TC working safe. The other is already dead. Destroyed. More than dead. Now at least Kermis is a lot of cap arches. The problem is that Red has a lot of cap arches. They have mobility. They are annoying. He's trying to kill and kill him probably. But with the economy Blue has, Red can't really do too much. I believe. Let's see. Ooh! Shoot, shoot, shoot! Nope. The traps need to come and kill the castle. He can't see that castle. No, oh, yeah, he does. Oh, Mangonel down. But he did a Mangonel shot. He now split the units really well. Ooh, okay. Did Red play. How he played on Arabia, Red? It was like Sito style red on Arabia. This is kind of Sito style, not that much economy, but a lot of farming. Did Motley want to see Arabia, right? That K 
can be she tall. Threat is your or ACCM? No, man. ACCM never play like this. ACCM is a boomer, not a one TC Pruse. Never. Mm, but Sebastian and Mihai, people have said that they control the units really fast. I don't feel that they are, he's controlling all these very fast. Look at those gates, double gate. I like it. With uh, with 15 villains, but still. Nice gate, but he's still losing all the villains, you know? What the real thing? I mean, blue! Stop losing villains, man! I know that he has a lot of population, but you make the gates just go away. He's doing the gate and he's still killing all? What the hell? Anyway, more Kalbarsi, but guys, Blue has now crazy amount of army. Like, crazy amount of army. And that's normal. But look at this economy from Blue. GG has been called. And Blue was having a lot of Echo Idol. In my opinion, there is not a top four in these two. That's what I can say 100% from now. In my opinion, you know, they are not top four any of them you know not top four any of them it's what i'm telling you you tell me what you think well kills them more 63 army but economy 6,000 resources more localo and you know when that happens when they are not top four because in arabia 90 percent of the players can lose really strong localo why because they play arabia all the time they play Arabia all the time. When there is then the whole maps, the whole maps and the custom maps is when everything change. In my opinion, at least, you know? Yeah, let's go and check, guys. As you can see, this is nice. And we go to see the 2-1 for who? For Jan Siska, right? For that Jan Siska. He won with Malai and lost with the hands. NBL played all the day 100%. For me, NBL is Oto the Great 100%. You know? 100%. I will play an ad. Incas, Vikings, and Aztecs. A hard thing. A barrel stink as well. Doesn't want to play. Think Jan Siska barrels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think NBL and Doubt yesterday. Doubt was the one who won yesterday. Forgot the name, but remember the games. Where are all the lover boys, man? I don't know. The lover boys left me. Some of them left me quite quite ago guys so that's why this is the last STO tournament that I'm casting after this after this guys I'm retiring guys I'm a step aside after this guys this will happen in my channel guys <laughs> you, you know, did you like the transition? Hopefully you did. Game number four is starting, guys. We're gonna keep going. And total brutalization. Guys, one problem that people have that we always have in life is that we always give the things for granted for granted you know and now we have Alfred the alpaca as a green jan siska as a yellow i just wanted to let this but i'm gonna put now 
the colors and then mm, mm. okay Jan Siska has to be blue and the alpaca red but they pick it oh, green and yeah. yellow don't care don't care about the colors I'm not changing my my opinions with the colors thank you so much you know okay Oh, I'm going fast as speed, but yeah, I need to catch up, guys, because I'm a little bit behind. The map is, well, it's a hard one. The exploring, not that much. Four bullets on wood, and we're almost live. I check it in my second monitor, just to be connected. We are now live. All right. Okay. We have Berbers and Japanese. Berbers for the alpaca. Berbers. Hmm. Berbers, Berbers, Berbers. Watching YouTube and Twitch simultaneously. Oh my God, my hockey. Thank you, man. Life without men will be Titanic. Well, I hope so. I hope that you miss me if there's a day that I leave or I take a big break. Well, he's doing a dog at the back. Imagine if he's breaking this, it will be lovely. But he's going away. He's doing the same here. You know, he has already one fishing ship. Which is normal. Japanese cost 50 wood less. I think Japan here is just better than Berbers. But because of the water, it's really the game go longer. Berbers can be dangerous with the knights, cheaper knights, and good aggression in castle. It's still Japan, pikes, monks. You know, oof. and with the water here, I think I prefer Japanese. It's true that Berbers also have bomber cannons later, but feel that Berbers need a lot more resources to dominate. You know? And then Japanese is cheaper. It's cheaper in general to, to counter. No? I mean, what do you think, guys? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm a sleepy, but not a sloppy. Okay, it's with the barrack, it's what you expect with the with the with the Japanese to go with the militias. We need also to see some some aggression with militias to see how the players react to that. Some quick wall, some you know, some good mechanics that we are not watching at all. Yeah, he took a lot of damage, Red. A lot of damage. Well, I'm sorry, but Japan is not a civilization that they don't have mobility anymore. They can go cavarches, they are amazing. And you can go knights with Japanese. They have bloodlines, they have all the upgrades. They're just not great in, in Imperial Age, but they're fine on, on Feudal. So Japan has mobility if you want to have mobility. It's not only infantry anymore, or even archers. Cavarches are great, you know. They're fine, because to get camel archers and janitors, you need to drop a castle so your economy is gonna be bad you are talking about the late game and i'm talking about castle it's, it's completely different you know you know so yeah cavarches are fine here with some monks and and few spears not even pikes you're fine you are really fine if you want mobility i think japanese is good Okay, he's going archers. And the militias are there. Red being wall completely. Double dock. Bevers galleys are faster. 
He has the double dog and blue. Need to find the double dog now. And if he's doing, he will know that he's gonna be in a problem. Ooh! He can see the deleted palisade, but didn't notice that there's another dog. All right. No, no, no. Good play by Blue. Win the dodge, you can take the face. Double dog is always good. Uh, let's see. Oh God. That's a good, a very, very, very good catch up, man. Very good, look. Isn't this too sad, guys, when you see that? This is, this is very sad, you know? Yeah. Okay. He's going with demolitions. He's now doing walls. Yeah, Bals is a player that usually... It's very safe playing, you know? Prevent walls all the time. Now the archer range is there, but he's coming with three archers. Siska has a lot of army. Arthur the Alpaca has none. He has used the three galleys and now is doing the first skirmisher. The militias are coming and this is archers without fletching. You are in a trouble now. You are in a trouble if you fight here. Berbers, the lists are faster, but the army, man, this is really bad. And Red is in a big problem right now. He's losing two bullets already. The scout is there, so he's gonna take the, the skirmisher here. Okay. Thank you for the follow. Really appreciate it, guys. Hopefully, you enjoy with the channel. How many viewers we have? 700 only? Holy shit. 700 viewers in a S tier tournament. Darkest screen, guys. Darkest screen soon. 39, 43. Ooh. Two bullets or more only. Okay. Got it down. Got it. And now he has the archers. Well, Red now has more army. But he's doing a massacre. He has killed already five villages. That's insane. That's really good. Yeah, I will kill another. He got it, man. It's already six, man. Oh my god, he's gonna take another one? Another one? Another one? Oh! Oh! Almost! There is a villain there with two HP, man. Holy moly, man. What the hell? Well, Red playing is sloppy. Very, very sloppy. Losing a lot. He's... His economy is very bad. 8 minute idle economy. 520 his opponent. 36 idle TC. Is in a trouble. It is in a real trouble. Right now. His echo is used the goal. He can sell, but that's it. He's now moving the list okay. But blue is doing a lot more damage. He has a scout now coming as well. And the, the archers. But he did fletching to finish the game, in my opinion. Yep. He does. He definitely does. Well, he has mobility skin. He has a scout, well red. It has plasmid and it's an archer range. But no food. He has a lot of gold. Good thing is that he took some water, I believe. He's now doing the plasmid. Do you follow him? Seriously? Nice. Very nice. Talmorty, thank you for the prime, man. Retire and become hot tub streamer. Titanic message. Another villain down. He's still without the fletching and he has killed already seven. It's too many. It's really too many. Really too many. Yeah, don't think blue, red is playing great. Blue is definitely doing a much better job. But well, even like that, resources, more food. He's doing now the fletching, but he has fletching at the same time. Oh, oh, that the scout lost a lot of HP, man. No, no, no. He's here, Jan Siska, with a lot of farming now. 
Yeah, and then he's not controlling anything. I don't know who Red is, but he's not playing good. In my opinion, he's not playing good. The two scouts gonna do the damage. He has the arches now. And honestly, this is the game. Yeah. He's dead. Guys, he's really dead. Red is losing all. He's now going to take more villas here. Yeah, it's game over. What Verbus is doing in this map, I don't know. I really don't know. But he's not resigning because it's a big tournament. But he has lost so many villas, man. Really. So many villas. That's crazy. Whoa! Just micro, man. It's not migraine. Well, he did a tower, but he bought it now the food. Look at the resources, man. How the hell he's ahead with the score, man? He's 12, 12 population behind. It has to be the water. Well, the score switched now. Still, he has... How many villains on goal got, got red? How many villains on goal he got? Zero, guys. He's selling resources to go up to Castle Age, man. Yeah, blue is gonna go up now. But he's going up with nine villains more, guys. Nine villains more. And now, a guy here with the scouts probably gonna take another one. Oh, one HP. Just go. He's gonna find it. He knows that he's there. Oh, the RG is coming. No, but he lost it. He knows that he's there. It's been annoying with one archer. And now, he's gonna micro? Yeah, do it. Hit, 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 hit. Not hitting? Okay. Let's bring in the second archer, maybe? Yeah. And the Valir in the hell? Maybe not. Oh, good wall there. I like it. That was a good move by Red. A very good one, actually. He's doing one skirmish as you may, as you asked on the chat. But he's still doing damage. He has three army. That is one skirm and two fire galleys. His opponent, six fire galleys, one scout, one spearman, four archers. Total domination. Yeah, his castle is faster, but into what? He has four villages on wood. He didn't make even a stable. He has bad economy. He is, in my opinion, so, so behind. And now, I told you guys, and you didn't believe me, that Japanese... I said, what army he was going to do in Castle Age? Please, tell me. Tell me. I said that he was going to go Cav Archers. And Blue is going to do Cav Archers? Doing Cav Archers, right? Yeah. He's doing the castle. But that's the thing here. He need to build the castle now. His economy is trash. Camel Archers are good. But by the time he's gonna make camel arches, maybe he's dead. He's gonna have Botkin Arrow. He's taking more villains. Just go under the tower. He's killing more villains here. This is over, man. It's completely disaster. 47 villains, 35. Oh, boy. And yes, the castle is there. But, well, no bloodlines, no husbandry, no even a stable, if I'm not mistaken, from red, you know? I think red, red is doubt. Or maybe Blue is Doubt, Doubt played yesterday, guys. Can you please stop telling players that has played already? That we know 100%, you know? 100%. Doubt played yesterday. NBL played too. Those are confirmed 100%. 100%. With those, I have no doubt. Okay. Anyway, TC here now. Uh, what is the advantage having ca Cav Arches over Camel Arches? Camel Arches need just the castle to produce Cav Arches, 3 RG ranges. So the production is better. Alright. Yes, it is. He has the mobility to do the job. Look at those Cav Arches, the Camel Arches. And then he's not... He's never attacking, you know? He's gonna kill it with the villages. I like it. Yeah. No, no, no. Don't go close to the to the tower. He's gonna lose those now? Yes, he will. He still have four army only. Four cavalry, camel archers. But then he can now. He can now do siege. 
to avoid the camel archers. Check the village on foot for red, guys. Village on foot for red. Village on foot for red. It's insane, guys. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, more more galleys are coming. Two, three. This is five already. The cavalrys are going. You have to be careful. He really has to be careful. The knight is coming. More cavalrys, as you can see. Ooh. Yeah, but. You have the numbers. Well, he's gonna get trapped. But you know what? If you send the galleys, you might be fine, honestly. Yeah, he's trying to trap those, but I mean, trapping those, you're gonna kill the list, right? That matters. Yeah, when they are down, bring the fire galleys. He's trying at least. But it's, it's, it's impossible, right? Well, if you kill some. Camel archers are fine, but not many. Look at the bonus. Wow. They're sick now. Nine army, 14 army. Cavalry is coming here. It's time to, to, to switch. And he has the skirmishes already. Yeah, this is good. Really good. Okay. This is over, man. Look at now. Taking all the stone miners. So many stone miners. Going back again to... He has only two tone centers. Horse collar, bozo. Not even bozo or horse collar for red. He's behind in economy big time. Big time. That yes, they has the red. It seems so. They're much much faster than the cab archers. Yep. I believe so. Okay. Ballistic now for blue. Now ballistic will help massively, but guys. It's 20 bullets more, guys. It's 20 bullets more. He has killed 22 bullets, man. That's a lot. That's really a lot. He's still only two tone centers. I like how he's doing the towers now. He's protecting his, his base really well. He's walled this area. You know, and this is for God username for Twitch. Thank you, man. I did. I hope you enjoyed your lunch with your family. Really wondering what who Blue is? I don't. It's Bals, but you don't listen to me. Yeah, his chemists are taking the camel arches. Why to go forward with the castle? You don't need. You know that he has a huge advantage. I think nowadays everyone can do French French rush. Yeah, more villains down. Ooh, kill it, control. Ah, oh, baby, didn't. Sending the skirm, sending the cap archers. The score difference is not too big, but we check the numbers and we know how this game is going to end. He still have only one tone center, guys. Only one TC, guys. Only one TC. He could be playing two of these games with only one TC for so long. It's bad. Is Mihai this kind of a player? Sebastian with one TC? Hmm. I don't know. No, this guy cannot be leery. Red cannot be leery. If he's leery, it will be a very disappointing gameplay for, for someone like him. I'm sorry to say, is my opinion. You know? I think leery is still being the top four player. Top five, top four. You know? And that's not a top four gameplay. Not even close. In my opinion. I might be wrong, who knows? Did you go for lunch today? I usually go for lunch every day. 
But today was special. Was outside. With my family. And un cheating it all. Uh, careful. We let down. In this in these situations, Blue is not reacting like a top four. That's why I think he's a very strong player, but not a top four. Everyone is a strong player in this in this tournament, right? But you know what I meant. Nice man got a shot, but he couldn't kill. And now Aether, you see what I'm talking? This kind of things. Makes that not the best multitasking for him. And GG guys. He called it the GG because it was over a long time ago, guys. He killed it so many villains. And Jan Siska, whoever he is, is getting closer and closer for the total and brutal domination, guys. Total and brutal domination by Siska. Military, 7372 economy, 4,000 resources, 4K resources more and that's a lot you know i feel that there was no game in this in this one 31 villages he killed it too early the villages and then red never did a second tc blue jordan okay no okay let me put now the scores and uh that was evacuation, right? It's not Jordan, guys. It's not Jordan. No, 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 no. Um, Japanese won. Let's go for the draft. His guessing game is killing me. Why? <laughs> Why it kill you? Hopefully in a good way. I'm playing an ad, guys. Thank you guys for joining. We are over 1,000 viewers combined, Twitch and YouTube. Which is nice, it is very nice, but we need the 1K on YouTube. So call your family, call your brothers, your, your friends, your doggies, your grandpas, your grandmas, everyone. Now let's go. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Alfred Alpaca, is, it has a very nice, uh, you know, image to die, you know. To die. The next map will be high tide. Jan Sito? You think that Jan is Sito? Well, maybe. Could be. I, I feel it's more, more like a Barl's player, but I might be wrong. I might be completely wrong. You know? We'll see. We'll really see. Solid plus good micro. Yeah. I think his macro. I don't know. For some reason it came to my to my mind that this is Barls, you know? Working on Dia de Andalucía, of course, mi Fuenca. You know guys, they he just tell that I'm working in in Andalucía days. Andalucía Day. I mean, Andalusia is my region, is where I'm living, and today is free, completely, you know, in, in, in the whole region. No school, no many people working, but here I am, because I have energy for everything. Just look, guys. With this arm, guys, how I'm not going to work in this Andalusia, you know? I mean, seriously, man. I became a beast with the gym, you know? And, oh, I have to work, man. I have to, to work because I have so much, so much power in, in, in this. Look at, look at this shoulder, man. I mean, seriously. Okay, let's focus in the game. All right, the next game is going to be high tides and it's going to be, uh, I don't know, you know. Can you pay the betting guys, please? Thank you. High tide is gonna be Malians and Lithuanians. So the eight pack. 
there is still a problem. That here is still one pack. I'm trying to fix it, but it's difficult, you know? It is difficult to me, you know? Still, you know, the, the, the arms, the, 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 the shoulders, the legs. The legs are also strong, look. I mean, I'm strong, you know? I'm really, really strong now, you know? I mean, but the pack, the pack is shit, guys. Oof, I'm trying to improve, but it's shit, man. It's really disaster, man. Oh. The, the pack is, is, I mean, it's okay. Now it's okay. And more casting, less eating will fix it. No. Less casting and less eating will fix it. More walking, walking that, you know what I mean? Will fix it as well. Jan Siska as a yellow again. My goodness. And Alfred Alpaca. Okay. Let me click. This is red and blue. And we need to go a little bit ahead to catch up the live game. We have Malians and Lithuanians as I expected. Because I think I know a little bit about the game. A little bit. And Malians in this map makes sense. And Lithuanians because they go with the wood very fast to try to go for a fast dog. I think both civilizations can win, but I will say that I prefer Malians for the long term. It's true that the Lithuanians get the power spike from the start, then maybe it's very difficult to recover. So let's see. I'm taking water and now we are live well actually I'm ahead give me a second now we're live okay thank you everyone for your kind words also on YouTube and uh yeah, hopefully you enjoy, guys. Hopefully you enjoy, and everyone on Twitch as well. Um, Doc is gonna fish. He's sold. Fish here. He's gonna fish now already, and he's coming with the villager. The villager without loom. Okay, you can see. Ooh. He knows that he's there. That's why he's chicken. Okay. As you can see, it is walled. This is very standard. Like this map, it has this start all the time. Similar to cross, you go for the for the dog. Now he's gonna take the second rhino. Second rhino as well, almost the same time. And two fishing ships already is a cool advantage. But this is what you expect with this civilization. He did a loom, while no loom by red. Kind of overconfident, I will say. Yeah, we have seen more than one time here, and also this map was used in all the tournament, that the pilot who arrived here first tried to deny this talk and, and can happen, and when that happens, it's very hard to come back. Red is leery, no loom. Because he has no loom, is leery. Then I'm leery too. I don't do the loom either. Okay. Foot is going up. 14 seconds, I don't see. It's not leery, man. Red is not a fast player, in my opinion. Well, fast player is something relative situation all right uh oh he's going to the tc got to be careful okay now let's see what blue is going to do i think he should wall this and then make the barrack here if he's doing i will wall make the barrack here or maybe in this area well this is fine i mean here or here is fine just to wall or make the other buildings 
Like that doesn't matter if you make Barak here or here, and then now the archer range instead of being here, it will be here, right? So it's fine. The thing is that he will wall with the buildings. That was the point. Blue can see the second dog. So red is gonna go faster up, which is bad. You know, it's really bad for Jan Siska. Like Siska should be up with the Lithuanians quicker. I believe. But now... Oh! He cancelled the militia. Because Red is gonna see it. Interesting. Like, very interesting. Okay. Artillery range. And both are doing a galley. This is the double dog. And see, basically he knows that he lose the water. He just cancelled the fire galley. I like this decision a lot. I like that decision a lot. Like, really a lot. So now I'm doing the mail and gonna push the deers. Well, not gonna push the deers, gonna take the deers. Yeah, now he's doing the arches. He can do the blasphemy. I will do the blasphemy here or here. Well, doesn't matter, but you just wall that. This triggered me a lot. The fish is gone with four foot. And now he's gonna send Vilius to this area. I like it. I really do. Thank you for following. Well, why a fishing ship? Uh, to do that, just keep a galley. You know, it's a little bit more expensive, but at least you can fight. The fish is a secure loss. So to do what you said, the fire galley is a better idea. He's gonna kill that one? Yes, he will. This is a good micro. Yeah, no. Whoa. Lost it. Lost it. Not the best micro. Already 2 0 units lost. And? What is he gonna do with the cocodrile? With the trivial is that killed the cocodrile, better say it. A mill and, and take the, the food here, I guess. He's doing the blasphemy now. He has resources, well, at the limit. But he need a fletching. For sure, he need. And he's doing, right there. He's not having even double the tax, which is a problem. His economy is at the limit. This is the typical thing that happened with... with Lithuanians. But now he's doing a dock. Oh, he's gonna make do uh, fishing ships here? Maybe. This is interesting and weird. Well, maybe do the dog just to to still gather the fish there. The archers are there. His opponent has two skirmishes only. Again, not the best army. But now Alfred has the advantage with the fish, which is a big one. That's why he's now doing the stable. Very good transition. We saw that the other day, too. Yeah, and doing a skill bar in armor is a good decision, yes, but you need food to make... Oh, fill it down. It's now 3-1, so it's raining less. It's gonna take another. Skims are plus one, plus one. Okay, but he has the hills, you know. Oh my god, Blue is having a good micro. A really nice micro. Okay. That was a little bit of... A more leery style, I can admit that. Double is table, double is table. Holy shit! Double is table. I mean, for real? There's a dog and a demo. Oh man. Oh! And he just went away at that moment. Now the, the demo is coming. And the demo is gonna kill probably. But the scouts are coming as well. The demo! He can see the demo! Blue! Oh, baby! Baby! Baba boom! 
ba ba bum 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 Blue definitely not having a good, a good, a good micro Not good multitasking here Okay That These kind of things should not happen to a top 4 You know, we're trying to analyze But really it shouldn't happen Or maybe it can You know, maybe it's a leer thing Maybe being in sloppy because he's trying to control his arses and the scout I don't know Yeah, but he has killed already 7 It's gonna take more, maybe Another villain down here. I don't know with what. Maybe another demo. Evil fix. Did you watch it the last three days? Did you watch it the last three days? Because if the answer is no. And then you come in the last day. And tell this player is Jordan. How the hell? You, you can say blue is Jordan. Can you explain me? Thank you for following. At least ask. Make a question, VIP. You have to work. Okay. I can understand. But then don't tell who they are. Jordan has played already. He sent the, 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 the ID. You know? My goodness. What is this? Michael Jordan? <laughs> Thank you for joining. Now he's gonna leave. <laughs> so many artists, guys, and bloodlines doing a lot of scouts, but guys, he is behind eight villages. That's a lot. There's really a lot. Sticking the galleys here, the dog here, maybe. He should do some fish. Well, I don't know. His fish is worth it there, and maybe fish trash, you know? Well, Blue has now a lot of feudal army. A lot of feudal army. He's gonna take the spear. And if he kills this army, and he probably will, you need to kill the spear. Yeah, the spear, man, but the scouts will dominate. He has bloodlines plus one armor. Now the archers are coming. This is really good army. He has no resources. I think Blue should come with a tower here to really finish the game. Not finish because Malias has now good echo here. But you know what I mean? To purge. Really good. Okay. Scout and Arches, I think Jordan was the guy who lost with gods with 10,000 score ahead. That who I think it was Jordan. Okay? Because he was... That guy was sloppy. In my opinion. Played good some games, but sloppy. Uh-oh. Well, have the heal advantage, but Red is gonna be in Castle Age. This is Scout. Oh, babe. He's gonna take the Valir. He's gonna take another... The scouts are really strong. Sticking ability or not. You need to kill. He's losing all the scouts. What is this, guys? What is Blue doing here? <laughs> a lot of water, guys. I know that it's a lot of water. We brought in a lot of water to the channel with this Titanic, but man, the water is needed in some scenarios, not only here, not only in the north, not only in islands. In that game, is definitely needed. He's now in Castellage and Blue. It's gonna go up now, but Siska is not walled. Double stable is kinda too much when you are behind in economy, man. All right, Arches and Scouts. Let's see what Bart, I mean, Jan Siska can do. This is open, I believe. And when he get inside here, bam! Why well, he's going there? He's open here, man. Exactly. He is a big problem. He's a really big problem. All right, going to go back. He's gonna mine his stone. He's doing towers, but if you don't wall anything, you have zero villages on coal. Zero villages on coal. He's still trying with 54 populations, 70, and I really believe that. The game number six. It's to happen. But well, let's see if Red is going to be able to finish the game. 
Nah, he has no goal, no stone, no nothing. Do I know the Lamarca, maybe? Ooh. He did two scouts more. Maybe to do light cast, but he has no goal. Oh, Billy's, 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 Billy's. Oh, come on! Nah, his reaction is just slow. It is very slow. It's... Nah. He has 54 population, 81 for Alfred Del Paca. He is still trying. This is ballistic already. Two TCs. Coming now with the crossbow, it's gonna take so many bullets here as well. I don't see any demo, he's killing all, please. Resign, Siska. Resign, Siska. Or people will think that you are a CCM. Okay. Yeah, the scouts and the archers are there, but that's the app, guys. Look at blue upgrades. He's doing the armor, but no double attacks. No horse collar, no nothing. Zero upgrades. Just did the fletching, skill bar, and armor, and bloodlines, but economically of talking, nothing. He's 62 bullets over 37, and that is core. And this map situation is pretty clear, you know, about what it is. And what it is, it's game. This is the 30 C, but 30 C for red, too. Okay. GG. No ACCM. 3-2, guys. 3-2 is still for Ziska. But now I am asking you again. Any top four here? My answer is no. My answer is no. Okay? Okay? Malians and Lithuanians. My answer is no. Viper is blue in blue. Yeah, I'm sure. Three two for Jan Ziska. Okay. And uh, I'll go for a nat, and now it's gonna be. I don't know what map is going to be, but there's only two left. Oh no, islands. Oh. It's gonna be islands. It's islands, man. It's islands. Islands, and it's gonna be Armenians versus Armenian guys. It's gonna be mirror. Oh my god. Oh, mirror. What can be? What can be better? What can be better in this life, guys? That island's map with mirror civilizations, guys. It's very good, right guys? It's very good. I'm telling you, it can be, it can be really nice, man. Really, really nice. Because we can see Dromons. But now, to be honest, since they have both the same civilizations, it should be, it should be interesting because decisions matters even more, no? What do you think? You can see the light? Yes, you can see everything, guys. You can see everything. And well, they don't give me yet the games. Vamos. Vamos, amigos. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
yeah, they didn't give me the game because they are taking this, you know, either, even a little bit more tension. So we can get it, you know. Vamos. Vamos, amigos. Let's go. Let's really go. Hopefully they bring some interesting game, you know. Because islands can be very, you know. You know how islands can be. I don't have to explain you, right, guys? Yeah, and it's Armenians, guys. Please, guys, don't put islands in a tournament. That can be also mirror. Oh, my lord. Anyway, here we are with islands. I'm going to catch up the live game. And we have Siska and Alfred. Alfred and Siska with Armenians in a map that we don't have to really analyze. We don't have to say absolutely anything. They will push the deers, they will go with the foot and everything and try to go up as quick as possible or maybe not. Maybe Fast Castle, who knows? But hmm, I don't know. I really don't know. You know, forward dock, back dock, land, Castleage, Drummonds, just go for a standard one. What are they going to do? Hmm. Why APM is not sown at the end of the game? Too much of a big giveaway? What do you think, Mr. Edifix? Why do you think I'm using this overlay? Because there's a rule that to cast this tournament, you have to use this capturage or you cannot stream it. You know? That's why. 3 3 and could be the decided game. Yeah? The player who is winning, Jan Siska, has picked the map and he picked Armenians. Armenians victory, let's go. Forward dock, wild blue, back dock. One is going pop, 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 pop. The other is going aggro. And that's why, because red will land. What do you think, guys? Is Red gonna land when he's 3-2 behind? I think he will, you know? I think he will. He's gonna land or not? Feedback. Feedback, guys. I want opinions. I hope he's gonna land. It makes it all... Well, more interesting, more aggressive, right? Well, I'm just checking the, the capture edge. Play safe? No. Alfred the Alpaca will land. There is a 20 minute delay on YouTube live? No, there is not delay on YouTube. I'm watching and it's live. You are delayed 20 minutes. Go fast forward. <laughs> what the hell? Do you know that you can fast forward? Just join it. What these as you think? I'm not sure, obviously, and but in a Impression now, I feel that Siska is Bals and Alfred the Alpaca. Is leading the board with the scout. Oh man. Yes, trust them. It's Titanic, man. Whoever it is, is Titanic. Okay. I'm not sure. You realize that I, I was I know that you were behind. I told you. No problem. I like it that you say that because it's a perfect situation to troll you. Amazing one actually. Well he's doing five fishing ships, you know? Yeah, but Winchester do better. And don't think this is Winchester. Winchester is a faster player than this. In my opinion. I might be wrong. Shh. 
As I said, Winchester lost, in my opinion, in the second game of the first day. He lost in the first... In the second... In the first day, in the second game. In the second series. The guy who did the palaces on the cross, it was Winchester. I think it was Winchester. But you don't trust me. Did Sebastian pick fans on cross? During the qualifiers? But we don't see any landing. We see seven fishing ships, five, and uh, three dogs in front, three dogs at the back. Nothing will happen, guys. A few galleys, and that's it. The worst of what we could expect from an island game. Disaster. Tubal is more that he has the loom? No. That he has the loom? No. And now, full galleys. For both. Well, oh, fire galleys. Okay. He's doing fire galleys, the other is doing galleys. Well, it's good to have three galleys, three fire galleys, and then galleys, you know. I don't know who they are, guys. Who cares? I mean, we do care, but... You know, the, 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 the problem with this is that we're going to keep asking this the whole event. Till we are... In the final, we, we want to see, oh, is this, is that, is that, yeah. Well, when we're in the final, we might think that it's always two, three, four players maximum. But still, even for the quarter final, we'll be the same. You know? I mean, have your special unit in dock? Yes, they do. It is the Dramon. The beautiful Dramon. Yep. Okay, Tom Watch. I like it. He's good to upgrade the tone watch, in my opinion. He's in a fishing ship too. To explore. Need to old micro here. Don't lose the galley, man. Oh, he's going away? Okay. Well, in theory, guys, Jan Siska should be in a much better position. Why? Just look at his economy, guys. Look at Seco. He has eight fishing ships. He's now having the fire galleys here. You know, he's gonna take those galleys. He's having another galley too. And then, with the sensible decision, he's up to Castleage. Yeah, he's taking that one. He's gonna kill more. Oh, 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 oh. That's a problem. He didn't lose any fishing ship for now because the control is well, a little bit sloppy but still going back yeah now he's kind of trapped this is the problem when you dive too much because now yeah and he's microing here so he's doing a good job he's doing fletching and red guys is not even close to go up so if you are unable to go up oh my god look at the idol man that was so many billions idle for i don't know how much time but it's still idle 33 seconds idle to see more idle economy not good and in 40 seconds he's in castle well alfred the alpaca is not top man this is still far behind not even 500 food that's crazy yeah Crazy how blue got here the macro. Uh oh. Yeah. No, no, no. You can't go. You're gonna take them all down. And. I don't know what red can do now. This is the problem when you have uh, uh, the same civilization. Yeah, he's five bullets ahead. Now he's doing the transport ship. To do what? He's gonna go just to these islands? Maybe. Both have no stone. Like red has sell also the stone. Shh. 
Taking all the galleys. He's about to go up. Okay. He should do damage now. I mean, you, you go up to castles to make the damage. He has the same baby. But now with the upgrades, Botkin, War Galley upgrade. Oh, but you, you need some galley here. Because the galleys are coming. Not really. They are not coming. Blue is going. So. And now there's a scout. Only the scout? Doing how many dogs? Four dogs. Okay. But blue is there. Time to kill. Need to go back. Population is the same, yes, but he has few minutes advantage. Few minutes advantage. He has now Yeah, warrior priest on, on the way. He took the, the relic, but Yeah, he's taking those galleys, but he doesn't have the numbers here. Now he's coming with more. I mean, the key for this situation is that Blue could just kill the fish. But he's not doing. So, he's not getting any advantage. Still 40 seconds, you know. Now he's buying a stone, so he's going to make the TC. So, you can see a completely different approach, but at the end, Blue seems that he didn't kill anything. Now he seems to have more navy. Well, not really. 9, 3, well, 12 is the same. Not upgraded, but the same. And now he will. He has three warrior priests because he might go for the relics. I believe so. He might go for the relics. Oh, he's gonna steal. He's gonna steal the relic. Holy moly, man. Nah, it's just... Okay. He's gonna try to make him react. Yeah, man. He, he's doing him panic, man. He's doing him really panic. And look how he's doing now the fortified charge. Don't lose it. He did the fortified charge at home. You know, now those galleys will go down. No loom even. That's why he also call, uh, went away. The relic was there, but he missed it for one tile. Who is this? Oh, a gift. Nice. TDA 7777. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. 13 gifts already. Nice. Well, navy is almost the same now. 12, 20. Actually, red more. A lot more. Blue is having echo. But what is he doing here? I don't know. It's kind of weird, right? But still. Well, it seems that Jan Siska is focused on, on, on the boom more. He still has some presence on the, on the galleys, but now... Uh oh, yeah, he's killing it and, well, that didn't do any damage. Transport ship going home, you don't want to lose. Okay. Transport, transport ship going away, and now the Navy is very close because one got 22 war galleys the other was less galleys but also some fire ships and he put them in front and the war galleys like support the real one uh oh he's not killing it he did not it's not good doing now the extra tc but i have the feeling that jan siska is just one step ahead he's now doing ballistic while his opponent doesn't have He's having more values, now more navy, more everything, and more relics. 3-2. Yeah, pretty much. Uh-oh. Oh, didn't lose it. Okay, at home he's going to be fine. He's going to take everything here. The KD is almost the same, but at the end, the game is just going directly, probably, I don't know if you agree, guys, to the same thing that is happening in islands all the time. For the late game, no wood map, and that's it. I don't know. Maybe Ballistic now can make a difference. Also, Karini will be lovely. He's bringing now two more Warrior Priests to get the relics. Yeah, in mind, it could be five, five relics, 10 relics in total, because the map got eight relics, but with Armenians, you get one extra relic per player, you know? Well, 
If Blue is able to get those relics, this could be a disaster. But he's doing the transport ship now, so he's planning to go. He got two warrior priests, and both are doing exactly the same. Population Blue is still ahead by six bellies. Basically, that is the difference. And a little bit more galleys at the moment, that's true. Oh, two transport ships. Okay. Well, he's bringing more galleys. He's trying to get those relics. I don't know if Blue can see those. Well, he see that one is disappear, and now, yeah, he killed a priest. The transport. He still kill it, but he didn't. He's coming with more navy. Look at now the numbers. It seems that Blue is now putting the pressure. He has ballistic, no ballistic. Carrying in, no. Carrying in for red, no either. Horse collar now, in case that you need few farmers to go Imperial at some point because you will need some food. He has four fishing ships and that's it. If you don't have farms, how you go up, right? We'll borrow now for red. But this game, guys, it's going for Imp or Blue will be able to finish. He has a lot more villages and more Navy. Yeah, 37 actually now. Oh boy. Hello, ma'am. Hello, chat. What are the predictions so far? You can tell to them. To him, guys. Go, go, go. Yeah, this this map, amigos. This map. Marta, do you hear me? Marta, please. Can you call the therapist? Yes. No, 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 no. The therapist for 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 as as a as a duo as a couple. No, 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 no. The one when I was depressed. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I wanted to, to jump under the bridge or over, I don't know, you, you know. Not, not the ones for the, yeah, 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 yeah. Not for the marriage, no, that's no. Okay, I can sleep in the sofa if you want, but call the other, thank you. Why? I will tell you later, stay tuned. I've contacted my wife, guys. I've contacted my, 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 my wife, you know. It's so good, guys. It's so good. Anyway, and now blue is destroying red. Red has no population, man. Nine villains different. Okay. And six relics. He took six relics. He took one of those, yes, while I was calling my therapist. 49 army, 16. Blue is killing with the mirror. Red has really nothing to do. I think Red is one player that has been playing ST tournament for the first time ever. And this Jan Siska might be a solid player with experience. But I don't think, I don't know, I need to, I couldn't check the first two games properly. But it, it still doesn't feel like a, like a super top four player, you know? I mean, he's playing very well, you know? He's playing good in this one too, but yeah, I don't know. It's my feeling. Doubt played yesterday. Doubt played yesterday. Oh wow, Red is Imperial. Wow. How oh, he's up to Imperial now? Well, he has zero navy, guys. He's gonna make more dogs at the back, but 12 bullets behind. One has 53 galleys. The other has five. Even if you are in him, how the hell can you do something? You're gonna take all the dogs. Wow, 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 wow. Anyway, Red is Imperial Age. The score difference is 2,000 score. Red is Leary. Leary playing this bad on water? No, oh, man. Why he say he's Leary, Red? In what you have seen Red play like Leary, guys. Yeah, but... In what you have seen that Red is playing like Leary. Yeah, well, Blue is gonna go up. 
to Imperial in a moment. Well, if Red is Leary, he should quit AoE. I know this is too hard for whoever is gonna be Red, but for me, Leary has so much talent. Even if he's, for example, did bad in NAC, he still did some good games, you know? Would I have to lose at the others? Well, if Red is actually Leary, maybe I should quit. Yeah? We're freezing in economy. All right. He's doing the plus one armor. Seven dogs. Shipwright. Starting to do more and more galleys. Well, it's true that they are doing some kind of brackets, you know, in the Internet's channel about the prediction for the viewers and if Leary didn't it wasn't mentioned they are kind of forced to say now Leary so that's why I think doing a bracket predictions well it's fun but it doesn't make any sense because you you can still see more games later and then change your opinions to make the real predictions you have to watch all the eight series and then analyze study it you can it's almost impossible except some exceptions for example mbl for example maybe the, the one for doubt because some others are very similar gameplay and then you have to analyze in my opinion the draft some games specifically with decisions you know yeah it has to be a, a more deep in uh, study of the games in my opinion you know yeah he's now gonna be an imperial and this is 72 navy for 24. A lot of navy from Jan Siska. Have you still Leary played yet? Maybe. I need to still watch the last series of today. You know? Maybe. Maybe yes. He has played already. Maybe yes. Remember my words. One of these guys, Leary, Hera, or the Viper, play the next series. A hundred percent. In the next series, one of those three I'm telling you will play in the next series. I was analyzing the series this morning. A hundred percent, I'm missing one of them till now because they are very similar in many aspects of the game in many you know and i'm missing one this is the worst game of the tournament that's why we're talking about all this stuff one of those will play in the next game in the next series you know it's the best way to hide you guys but guys let's see he has done all the galleys, he's doing Sicilian feet! Whoa! What an amazing upgrade! It's insane! So good upgrade! Demolition ship 33%, blood radius, galley line and drums plus one range. Awesome upgrade, man! Amazing upgrade that they just did it, but red has upgrade, but no galleys. That's what you need. You need the galleys. He's gonna make those. 74, 35. It's impossible. Blue will win the game. And he landed with a mule card. Well, if you kill this one, ooh, baby, another threat. If you take it, you also get the wood. Wood, please. He landed. Okay. Which two players you think are Hera, Lear, Viper? Vasco da Gama? 
And um, let me check. And Kozrao. Kozrao. The first series and the last series yesterday. GG guys, it was obvious for for two. Alfred Del Papa, GG, good luck next. Alright. He won guys, Jan Siska. I wasn't even paying attention to the game because it was disaster. And uh yep. It was 4-2, amigos. 4-2. And yeah. It's it's, it's a bad map, as we know, and Armenian's battle didn't bring anything fun this game. But Jan Siska, solid gameplay, strong player, but we don't really know who he is, right? We don't, guys. We really don't. And now, next game so far, that is going to be the last of the round one, and it's going to be Alexios Komnenos and Robert Giscard. My goodness. By the way, I had the... Yeah, it's not updated, but it will, you know? It really will. Amigos, and uh, yeah, let me just update the Alexios Com Nenos and Robert Giscard. That one looks like French, right? Well, I have no idea. That's why Riley videos would be good, right, guys? Would be really, really good. I'm sure about that. All right. I'm setting up everything while you see that the... While you see the... The brackets, I'm analyzing everything, guys. Everything for sure. Everything for sure, amigos. Everything for sure. Okay. I'm going to check some of the highlights, maybe. We can check the highlights. Yeah, could be. Mimbo the Great. Yeah, spoiler alert. That's some replays. This is why, well, I feel that there was some good play here, but... Hmm. Those memo who they are, please. I still think that Jan Siska is balls, but... He maybe played the last game too strong for Islands. Is Val's really good on uh, on Islands? Harsi Top Blue, Mihai Sebastian Red. I still think it's, it can be Val's here as a blue, but maybe it can be hard. We'll see. You know, and I agree with your second option. I think it's Mihai Red. You know, have you located Tatot? Yes, I think Tatot is. I think Tato is Sumanguru. Sumanguru can be Tato or I, I'm not sure. I think Sumanguru and Gajamada. I think Sumanguru and Gajamada are Tato or Mr. Yo. You know? Sumanguru and Gajamada, I think they are Tato or Mr. Yo. One of those, you know? Jadwiga, I think Jadwiga is Sebastian. What about the guy yesterday who picked Kells? Who was that? The guy who, who picked Kells. Ah, for me, Mr. Yo, yesterday? That's the one I'm talking. That's the one I'm talking, because Raul. That's the one I said, man. That that can be yo and the other Tato. You know? Gregory 7, Gregory 7 is Jordan, in my opinion. Can be. See his moon? What happened to see his moon? Oh, see, his moon pick Kells. Ah, you're right. You're right. No, no, no. But I'm talking about the winners. The, the losers, I don't care. 
The losers, I don't care. Yeah, doesn't matter. Control the Viper? Uh... I know, I said... Shut up, everyone! Give me a lot, let me alone! It's too many games, I have to analyze, man. I need to check the draft, I need to check the games. I have a lot of thoughts, you know? But I'm confused now. It's too many names that I don't know, and I don't get, and I don't care them, because the names are ugly, you know? Really, if there's another hidden cap, can't you please put Mem, Zero Empires, T90, Dave, uh, Orlu, all the casters, put the casters, man. It's much easier to remember. And it will, it will be very fun, you know? It will be really, really fun, you know? You know, Orlu again? Oh my God. People love Orlu, man. They don't want to cast with me, man. My goodness. Mem the Alpaca. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Anyway. We have to wait, guys, now for the next one. And uh, let's see what it's going to be, amigos. Name them after units is better. That's true, man. I agree. I'm dominant. Total domination player. Right, guys? Total domination player. Anyway. Uh... Let me use one second. This is the, the brackets for the, the viewer brackets for for T90. Who is Alfred the Alpaca? Alfred is the one who lost, right? Lear the alpaca? In what? In what they saw that that guy is leery, man? In what moment they saw that 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 guy is leery? Leery? The alpaca? The archer micro? The, the archer micro? What what micro? What archers? Because he's both what T90 says. But T90 is a good player, man. He said Leary, really? I, I don't think he's Leary. Like, I mean, I didn't see the first two games properly because I was, you know, and I came with Paeja in my stomach. So maybe, I don't know. But I didn't feel that. I mean, Leary, I mean, when he lost in NAC, you feel that Leary played better than what we just saw it. I don't, I mean, Leary can't be there, man. Leary? Just look how different Leary, Sebastian, and Cito. They have nothing to do one with the, each other. I agree with you, T90. With everything you are telling right now. Yeah, I agree. Do you agree or not? Okay, let's see what they said for Jan Siska. Leary again! Oh, of course! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Makes sense! It makes sense! It really makes sense! Because Leary has to play versus Leary! Because this chat is amazing! Leary versus Leary! And then the Viper! And then Hera! You know, everyone! You know? <laughs> the Viper? The, 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 the Viper in the, in the previous game? Did, did you really think Siska played like the Viper? I 
I mean, I mean, I don't know. I, I didn't feel that that the Viper was playing in the previous game. I was telling that I don't think there is top four, and then everyone there think that it's all top four. No, no, no. I mean, maybe they can be. I, I don't know. Marta, do you remember about the therapist? No, 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 no. If I don't need it, no, no, I needed two sessions, not only one. I need another one. Two sessions can we can be two hours? Two hours? Yeah, 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 yeah. Need to be double, double the doses, double the dose. Yes, two sessions of the therapist. Thank you. I love you too. What? You didn't say love me to me? To who? Oh, sorry, I have to I have to close this. The Viper Cito and Hera. Well, maybe I don't know. I mean, maybe it can be like I need to check the first two games, you know, but Honestly, I'm going to tell you something. If Leary is the alpaca, he's in problems. It, it will be... It will be... Is, is Mihai, guys? Is Mihai really fast player? Mihai and Sebastian really fast APM? I think they are really fast APM like Libre and, and those. Like they are very fast with the with the with the units and so on. So maybe they, they confuse them with Libre because of that. Sebastian has 120 APM. Oh whoa. Okay. Okay. Hart has also so like the, the army control and all this. Multitasking is not that important anymore, right? Okay. But no, but seriously, you feel that we saw their Lear versus Viper in the previous series? You got that feeling? Is what I'm asking. Is only that what I'm asking? Because if they they were Lear and Viper, Hera has won the tournament already. For me. For me. Fair game felt that blue, but blue is not. Blue was. Jan Siska, no? Not Alpaca, right? Blue was Siska, not Alpaca, no? So, but they voted for red, for Leary. Blue, not red, blue. Okay. Without seeing anything, I think in the next series we have one of those big fellas. Okay? That's my prediction. From now, without starting the series, because I want to, to make you motivated for the next series, okay? Ah? Uh, ah? Uh, in the next series, in the last series of the round one, we see some, someone big. You know? Someone big. You know? Do you like it? Do you like that I said fellas? Okay. <laughs> One of those fellas, I don't know. Is that correct? Let me check the 90 chat again. Um, well, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. I never do 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 do. Okay. I don't know. Who do we know 100% right now? I think 100% NBL and doubt. You know? 
I'm not sure if Hera played. It can be played, but I'm not sure 100%. I want to see these last series to make a, a, a whole picture idea, you know? Because I think Hera play style is, is not that unique. It's just that it's the best execution, but it's not a unique play style. Basco, 99% Hera. Okay. Okay, okay. Let me check. I'm checking T90, guys. We will have a... We have to wait, you know? We have to wait because, you know, it's taking a while. Checking Wikipedia, checking everything. Mihai is also really fast. Mihai and Sebastian are really fast. Who do you say that they are? Harvest of Leo Ines is my guess. Men's predictions video. Bali could not pick Bay Cup as his home maps. Let's check previous hidden caps to see Leary's home maps. I am on hidden cap four, and I'm going to tell you what Lee pick as his home map. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Uh, where's the map draft? Leary won against Nikov on high tides, cup, and islands in Hidden Cup 4. Okay? In Hidden Cup 4. Exactly in the maps that you say that, they, that he cannot pick. You know? Okay? I'm just giving you information about previous editions, because it's, it's the same maps, you know? So, yeah, and he didn't pick Islands, but I got the feelings that Leary, it was Vasco da Gama. I said from the start that for me, Leary could be Vasco da Gama because he picked Ethiopians, you know? And he likes Ethiopians a lot, you know? I'm checking Hidden Cup 4, Aztecs, Lithuanians, Britons, Malay. Yeah, it was different. Arabia, High Tides, Capan Islands. He lost Arabia against Nikov. Okay, so I don't know, you know? High Tide and Mood Flow. Well, but it was four years ago, you know, three or four years ago, Sean. And now there are other maps, you know. I don't know. I need to watch the next series, you know. When we see the next series, we will see, guys. We will see. We will really see. We will really see. Anyway, I'm checking out hitting cap three, maybe. Give me a moment. No, it's too, it's too far. Then with hitting cap four, it's fine. You know? Well, the Viper, for example. Arabia, high tides, mood flow.
He won Arabia Cross and Quarry versus Hera. Then Hera won by A, Bypass, Cap, Mood Flow. Already in the Hidden Cup 4. Jordan won Islands against Hera on the final, but then lost Arabia, Mood Flow, Cap, and Slopes. Mm -mm. And Hera Peak Kells. Also, let me check Hera Peaks. I see Kells. Hera. Viper also be killed <laughs> in the best of seven. So it's difficult, you know. Is Vasco is leaving and he did fancy with two? I give you 20 euros. Thank you, Localo. But I didn't say 100% yet that it's Leary. But why Leary cannot do the fast imp? Let me check if Leary has peak. Yeah, but. Mm, let me just check one moment. I'm checking Hidden Cap 3 main event. I think Leary has done Fast Imperial. I, I have seen that strategy of Leary, but I don't remember the tournament. Really. You, 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 you would be surprised, you know? Yeah, he didn't have three, three is just too far. It's really just too far. Maybe now it's too rusty. I think it's rusty for make the, the, the crazy micro multitasking that he always got. But I think it's, it is still an insane player to do this kind of build orders, you know? In my opinion, you know? But I don't know, I might be wrong. I might be really wrong. Who knows, right? Who knows? I'm not sure, guys. Let me see the 90 channel. Mm -mm -mm. Till Imperial, I feel like he also wouldn't pick something like Burgundians, which is a bit slower. Till Imp. He got Burgundians, the. Yeah. I didn't say 100%. I say that, that Vasco de Gama is one of the big fellas, okay? I say that. I didn't say my 100% yet because I want to see the last series that is going to happen in a few minutes, okay? I only have said 100% for me. Um, uh, Otto the Great NBL. I think King Stephen is... Doubt a hundred percent. Keen Stephen a hundred percent. No, I think Tatot or Mr. Yo are Sumanguru or Gajamada, I think. Gajamada, yeah. And I honestly think that the Viper might be Koshrao. If not the Viper, you know. Jadwiga 100% balls? No. Jadwiga played very fast in some moments. Balls is not that fast. I think Jadwiga has to be someone with very, high, very, very fast APM. Could be hard. Federico, are you FedEx? Or because I think Jadwiga has to be someone very fast. You agree with me that he's someone really fast, but not as fast as. Those Leary Viper NBL hard for me. I think it can be. I think it can be, if not hard. For that reason, I'm asking about the, the, the fastest APM with Mihai, with, uh, with Sebastian. You know, I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm really not sure. Okay, six minutes uh, break. Then this is Kine Stephen. Do you agree that he's doubt? Maybe one question, only one, because you are not subscriber. If you subscribe, maybe I give you, I let you make two. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Mr. Yo didn't play yet. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure that Mr. Yo has not played yet. You know? I'm not sure. But I think in the next series, it's going to be some of the big fellas. One is missing. One is missing. Do we have ads there? I will play an ad now, guys. Okay? Just one ad now. Echoes! Thank you, man. Forgot to cancel again. Titanic. Don't cancel, man. Never cancel. We need more, man. More lover boys, more subscriptions. We need the daily goal complete every day, guys. If we get daily goal complete every day, I will do nothing. Just be happy. Huh? I trick you, man. I trick you. Joe was Sigismund. That maybe he has lost yesterday versus versus Doubt. Possible. But Doubt will win 4 1 to, to Mr. Yo. Versus Viper? But who is Viper for you? Kozrao was Viper. He lost to Kozrao, Mr. Yo. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, yo, yo. I know. King Stephen was doubt. Okay. Thank you for the gift, man. Appreciate it. Five minutes. Thank you for following. Corral, I think, well, Sebastian playing very well. Well, really, really well. Like an OP, you know? Like a really OP. My goodness. I need to go to the bathroom, by the way. I will go soon. I will go soon, guys. Soon, soon, soon. Da -na 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 -na. Arminius the Teuton! Thumb up on YouTube, let's go, baby! <laughs> Thumb up on YouTube. Let's go, baby. The previous series has been six games, but I didn't feel that it was a long series, right, guys? It, it felt that it was not so long games. Yeah, it didn't feel too too long. Maybe it's because I came late. <laughs> yeah, now that I'm thinking, maybe that. Very cool. It's very important to get that emoticon for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My goodness. My goodness. That was the NBL next match. Selling the green, Ganja, Mada, and Gary could be ACC and Visite and Ganji in some order. You don't think that Gregory was Jordan? I don't think Gregory will lose. Ganji will lose with God against Georgians. It was God, right, against Georgians? Ganji in these kind of late games is really strong. That's what I thought, but let me just check the names. That Gajamada can be Tatot or Sumanga uh, Sumanguru. I think Sumanguru can be either Tatot or, or Yo. Mem shock, you know? Mem shock, mem shock. Sumanguru can be many players. Uh, 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 uh. It was more a macro player than a micro player. I feel that Sumanguru wasn't. It was more a, a, a decision making micro player. I remember that series very well. <coughs> How long till. Yeah. It's a starting soon, guys. It's a starting soon. I mean, Sitor Sebastian could be. Sitor Sebastian for Sumanguru? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. 
Why do Americans love to wait? Well, I think T90 get tired, man. He need to, to relax. He needs 30 minutes break or 40 to recover the energy, man. To recover the energy, man. You know, you know. So I don't know. Are they starting or not? Let me just check. No, not yet. We need to wait, guys. We need to wait. I feel like Tatot or Jordan will pick the typical GL seats like Lithuanians. Jordan, I'd be surprised if Manguru was one of them. But maybe they want to. Where's your glasses? My glasses are here. You know? And I'm checking here the T90 channel. She is with the, some replays now. What? Nah. Those videos are not interesting. Who is this? Vamos! High train! Burvos! Level 2, vamos for the level 3. Come on, come on, man, come on. Man. Vamos, amigos. <laughs> no, 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 it's not the history bits, I think. Yeah. What is your favorite play about playstyle and skills? When he plays his best, when he plays his best and he's not lazy and rusty. Okay, wait. He's always lazy and now he's rusty. I don't have a favorite. No, I was going to tell Leary. Lee was, for me, when Lee played his best, is the most fun to watch. For me, the in their peak, in their best gameplay, all them, the most fun to watch and the more exciting and brutal to, to watch is Leary. You know? The others are more macro players. They are they are like a small hammer that they are killing you. Boom, boom, boom. Not always. But it's fun too, Tatot, I agree. Then MBL is very fun, depend on the maps, you know? So, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know. Anyway. Let's go for videos. Let me just go, guys. One split on average per game. So let's move on to Some stagger. videos from tonight. So the let's see what common use of stagger is when you have a group of ranged units and you want to spread them out from receiving a lot of damage. If you don't have the ability to split, sometimes it's best to just spread out your units so fewer of the units get hit by incoming shots. Now, it's not just ranged units. You can also do this with a group of knights to maybe surround other units. And it is something that players probably use more than split. It's just not as obvious. So yet again, we have the average. We have the middle of the pack here. It's target the formation lowest, again. The mid being Barrels at 12, heading up towards MBL, who's at 21. But yet again, we do have players that are at the top here, and it's pretty substantial. We have Hera, who staggers 39 times a game on average, and then Leary, who staggers 43 times a game. So if you see players who are using stagger very frequently, Hera or Leary confirmed. Now I know the big numbers are exciting, but most of you guys actually just want to find out who is at the bottom. And yet again, we have some repeat names on this list with ACCM at two, Yo at one, and then Sebastian and Doubt at zero. 
So, so far, uh, if you're keeping track, Yo and Dao split on average one time a game. And then Yo uses Stagger on average one time a game. And Dao never presses it at all. This is mind-blowing to me, how there could be such a big difference in unit commands. But we're not finished yet. The final formation box has a different use for pro games than when you were 12. When you were a kid, you probably had uh, made a knight and maybe named this knight and maybe was role-playing with this knight. And this knight was your favorite knight. And it was your friend. Otto the Great and for you me. Wanted the knight to be SMBL. So you used box formation. Vasco de Gama. The it tells to be one of the big names. Super big. Map. That so is not what is pros use box formation for. Tato Toryo. And box formation is actually a relatively. Then Gajamada is Tato Toryo. I have to decide one of those. Averages without standard low numbers, numbers of units. And Koshrao. Low numbers of units. Is another big name. Using box formation. Changing directions will sometimes yeah, mean Siska, that the, the one who won right now, move in I'm not sure anymore. Might not be able to I need to think about and this. And this is a bad thing if you're a player controlling your units because you want them to stay as tightly grouped as possible Guys. without changing position. And so box formation is part of the meta now. If you, I mean, I'm just showing you this because box to fill the, the time, it's a big break. And archers. But if you Beyond don't really like to mess that content, like it's fine. You are watching units. me. Then box formation you have no more time to subscribe, as much to support relevant. me. And, you are going to and see then I will host just in the standard line something, so maybe, you understand why box formation or maybe not. Maybe I will retire. Look I say the already. numbers. Because that we maybe have massive discrepancy. What will happen soon, it will be this. <laughs> okay, and now what? Jordan, like average number numbers of time box formation was used in a match makes sense because at least in my experience again, it is low numbers of armies. And if the game goes on for a long time, you're not going to really benefit from it that frequently. But at the top is something that I have to assume is just a little quirk. I, for example, am always selecting my TCs without actually doing anything. Players have all these things that they do that are just habit, that have no benefit whatsoever. Now, maybe this is me jumping the gun. Maybe this is actually helpful. But Hera averages 316 boxes per game. Hera is boxing out there, and I have to assume that this is something that he is selecting with every type of army he has, because that is a lot. So if you see someone spamming box formation in Hidden Cup 5, Hera confirmed. Now, that's hilarious. Do you think these numbers are really, really real? Is the bottom. Leary uses box formation one time a game on average. One. And then the others... We have MBL at zero, we have Barrels at zero, and we have Doubt again at zero. If you were looking at small I believe groups doubt, of armies, zero. <laughs> if you were looking at scout formation, I really do. You know, this is an easy tell to find out who players are, in my opinion. You don't have to look far to see that MBL and Doubt do not do this. You could look at clips and see they are not box formationing their scouts. So if there is no box formation used by a player in Hidden Cup Five. MBL, Doubt, or Barrels Confirmed. And that, my friends, is Age of Formation. But they have sold this video before, right? completely blew my I think my I have mind. seen this I before. I was not expecting to see so many discrepancies here. Yeah. And if you're adding it up, there was okay. one player who had an average of I will put you now, guys, the, the... I will put the historical when they when they bring it here. I have in the main screen. So with the historical one, I will show you. And we are just waiting for it because now they will explain the heroes. Alexis Comnenos and uh, Robert Giscard. Then we will listen um, uh, Riley, okay? And then we will go for the second B uh, series of the day and we will be able to, to do the job. I'm thinking about the previous series. Mm -mm -mm. Who could be Jan Siska? Let's talk about the previous series. Analyzing all the others, now I'm less sure. I was still in Bals, but he also played very well on the Islands one. I don't know if he's that good in Islands. 
Why not submit a reply of finals in previous editions? Well, I don't know why you asked me. At the end of the day, only one or two were right. I know, except me, that I usually make a lot of right, you know? You know? A lot very right, you know? Anyway, let's see. Kotrao is Andy. It's time, it's my time now. It's your time now to leave the channel. Thank you for watching. <laughs> yeah, well, then stop. Stop. Thank you for donating. Thank you, man. This is exciting. What we need to hide. Vamos. Copac donated 10 euros. Amazing. Let's keep the light on. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's crazy how long it takes the brace when he's recorded this, man. This guy, man. Come on, man. Start the game already. Alpha, beta, I don't know. It's not up to me. 14, man. 14. Okay. Do, 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 do. Well, he lost 7,000 viewers. You gotta know why. Come on, man. People leave, but we didn't lose 7,000 viewers, right? Oh, because we don't have shit. <laughs> do I have updated the draft? Or my guy didn't update? Shit, he didn't update the draft. I'm gonna fire him, guys. Yeah, he didn't update the bracket, sorry. Disaster, man. Oh, no! <laughs> but where's the Titanic play? Uh, I'm sorry, but... The Titanic play doesn't appear here open. Wait. Mm. We have 1K and we keep 1K, I know. The Titanic was disabled and it's still up here, man. What the hell? Unbelievable. Thank you so much for the support. We're waiting, guys, for see if we are going to continue. Hopefully we will soon, but still. Was way too loud? Well, that's a part of the Titanic. If it's too loud, it's even more Titanic, you know? Alexios com, com Nenos Robert Giscard. Yeah. <laughs> it was way too loud. Let me just put a little bit lower. One second, guys. Actually, I can't. What? The Titanic is not working, guys. One second. Well, something is wrong. It's not working. It played, but now it's not working. Crazy. Yeah, for some reason it doesn't work. 
Yeah, the Titanic is Titanic. Okay, guys, let's see the historical the video. And allowing the Turks to continue their westward expansion into Anatolia, or essentially modern-day Turkey. In addition, Norman expansion into the Balkans was threatening the Byzantine Empire to the west, and with four different emperors ruling between 1067 and 1081, the Byzantines were not in good shape. So, it's lucky for them that Alexios came along, usurped the throne from Nicophorus III Batonaites, and steadied the ship, beginning a period of Byzantine history known as the Komnenian Restoration. His first job was to fight off those making incursions into Byzantine lands, such as Robert Guiscar, another Hidden Cup 5 competitor, but he also had internal threats to deal with, opportunistic rebels and political malcontents. But as any good Byzantine would, he defended himself from all of these threats, internal and external, building up his forces behind extra HP walls, just like we all did when playing the game for the first time as kids, and he also put the formidable Byzantine navy to use, raiding Turkish settlements along the coasts of the Black Sea. How you like all those faster firing fast fires, huh? But Alexius also played the diplomatic game as well, making some clever alliances to aid him in fighting off his foes. For instance, with the Cumans to the north, which was terrific because now his, um, oh, wait, his palisade walls are completely impregnable? Wow, great. Thanks for the team bonus, Cumans. Why don't you click Cuman mercenaries as well and send me a few free tiny low damage paper mache kipchaks while you're at it? But no, more important were his attempts to normalise relations with the papacy in Rome. Constantinople and Rome weren't exactly on the best of terms at the time, but neither of them wanted hordes of Turks overrunning Christendom. Plus, always useful to have access to condottieri. Now not there's the a He's team bonus, too fast take for me. note, humans. In 1091, Alexia sent for who ambassadors of you, he to Pope fast. Urban II to request in the direct chat. support in his campaigns against the Turks to the east. And the Pope obliged. This was the beginning of the First Crusade. And the Pope made it about more than just Anatolia and the Turks. Pope Urban wanted to capture the holy city of Jerusalem for Christendom as well. Waves and waves of crusading warriors made their way east. And while a lot of them were... Of course, if you're native you English, know, no. Pretty much completely destroyed by the Turks. Later Crusaders were able to drive the Turks back and reclaim much of Anatolia for the Byzantines. And from there, realizing the time had come to quit while he was ahead, Alexios thanked the Crusaders, refused to help them any further as they continued on into the Holy Land, and instead focused on the one thing the Byzantines are best at. No, not rushing him for a huge power spike. No, he focused on defense. Alexios didn't overextend into the Holy Land. Instead, he consolidated the gains he made against the Turks with the help of the well, Crusaders. The truth, guys, and this is representative is that not paying of his attention, determination you know? to pull the Byzantines back from the crisis and collapse they Happy faced hell, at the beginning of his realm. And I'll tell you this, it worked. Alexios is considered to have <laughs> saved them, the hell. empire from ruin. And his efforts to stabilize things saw the oh Byzantines continue to prosper for centuries. Until, of course, NBL. 1453 and the fall of Constantinople. But, hey, that's nobody's business but the Turks. But what will the fate of Alexius Komnenos be in Hidden Cup 5? Will he once again be able to weather the storm, rely on his solid defences and see himself through bitter conflict with powerful foes? Or will he collapse this time, unable to steady the ship as he did a thousand years ago? We'll find out as Hidden Cup 5 continues. No. So that is in. Yeah, I'm sorry that I mute you. Um, Tatot Gregory 7? No. Tatot losing 4 0? Doesn't feel to me. Doesn't feel to me, to be honest. Doesn't feel to me, amigos. Oh! More educational! that he decided to Be conquer right England guys. just to get a new nickname. But there were plenty of other Norman conquerors who are, uh, well, perhaps not as important as William, but were just as good at conquering, at least. And one such bloke was Robert Guiscar. This is a name that fans of T90 will know all too well. It's the nickname that you putting adopted when crushing people with the Sicilian donjon rushes. And it was a very appropriately chosen nickname because Robert Guiscar himself crushed Sicily and southern Italy and brought it under his control. Guiscar was born in around 1015 in Normandy in northern France, but like many Normans at the time, he migrated to southern Italy. 
Many Normans worked there as mercenaries, but some actually managed to conquer and rule over land of their own. But as a sixth son, Robert was unlikely to inherit anything much, even when his brothers managed to capture some land for themselves, and so he worked, worked, as a bandit for a while, uh, before finally being given a small castle by his brother Drogo. In the 1050s, Pope Leo IX decided he'd had enough of these Normans roving around, capturing and ruling land to the south, and so he organised an army to try to boot them out, and he, uh, well, he failed quite badly, and Robert did so well in fighting off the papal forces that he was rewarded by the victorious Normans with a county of his own. And from there, holy moly, he did not slow down. He conquered Calabria, the toe of Italy's boot, and then eventually moved across to conquer the island of Sicily as well, which at the time was ruled by Muslims. Now, did he conquer Sicily by towering his gold piles, abusing the market, and rushing opponents down with the sergeants before they had a chance to properly respond? Historians are still divided on that point, but however he did it, Robert quickly established himself on Sicily. He fortified the towns he captured very quickly too, you'd imagine, with the Sicilian construction bonus, and in the coming years, beat back the Saracens, expanding his influence over the yeah. islands. However, unlike his Age of Empires namesake, this was a long and protracted campaign. It wasn't the blazing fast all-in you pudding strategy, it was more like the uh, more like the Sicilian First Crusade. It took about a billion years to actually get done. I'm back. It wasn't until 1086 that Sicily was, once and for all, finally brought under Norman control, although Robert's brother Roger was uh, installed as the Grand Count of Sicily all the way back in 1071. And if you've ever wondered where the inspiration for the in-game Sicilian dungeon comes from, it's very likely the small castles that Roger built. Some are still around today in Sicily, and you can actually see the resemblance. Robert and Roger were very good at getting castles up, it seems. Unsurprising, again, given the Sicilian bonus. So if we ever see Robert failing to complete castles in, in Hidden Cup 5, we'll know why. Doubt confirmed. But it wasn't just the Italians and the Saracens that Robert fought. He mixed it up towards the end of his career by going after the Byzantines as well, fighting Alexius Comemnus, another Hidden Cup 5 competitor, and he gave them the you pudding treatment, I can tell you, quickly diminished their influence in southern Italy and the Balkans. He even thought about an attack on Constantinople itself, but wisely decided against it. We will leave that to the Turks and their gunpowder in 1453, I think. Now is, uh, it's not the time. After Robert's death in 1085, Sicily and southern Italy continued to be ruled by his descendants, the Hortevilles, who had a huge impact on the history of the region. But as for Robert himself, he became known to history as Robert Guiscar. Guiscar is not a name, but it's actually a... It's a nickname he was given. It loosely means the, the cunning or the resourceful. But will Robert be both cunning and resourceful enough to succeed in Hidden Cup 5? Will he donjon rush his opponents into oblivion just like he didn't do a thousand years ago? Stick around with Hidden Cup 5 to find out. All right, so now... Okay. I want to... I want to check the... Um... I don't know what's happening with my Titanic. It's just not working. Hopefully, we're going to start the games. Finally, because... What is this, man? My Titanic is, 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 is not working. I'm not sure what players are the previous round. Not sure, 100%. Really. It's very difficult. I'm not sure anymore. But let's see. Any ideas? I say balls for the winner, but I don't know. I really don't know. Sure, I think Mihai maybe the loser. Yeah, can be. Not sure. Really not sure. They voted Leary. I hope that Leary is playing better this tournament. It's unfortunate. It's a pity if he's not. Well, for some reason, my Titanic is not working, guys. Let me use one moment. Yeah, they are not starting yet. The hell? 
מה שהכל. אתה איתנו אצלהם? שנייה. הנה אבל. doesn't matter if it's not working. Let me check if they... Yeah, we have the draft now. I'm going to show you the draft in a moment, guys. Um, we're finally going to start, which is the greatest. I cannot be without the Titanic. You know, Titanic is the way to go. Map draft. Okay. Okay, okay. I told you that we're going to have here a big name. And yeah, he's going to be, I think he's going to be a big name, guys. One of those that you are telling all the time. Alexius Comenos, Robert Giscard. The first game is going to be cross, you know, cross. And he's not cross from Real Madrid. Then we have uh, Islands as the first pick. The, the map on top, Evacuation and Islands are the first pick for the players. The Evacuation by Bay and Arabia. Ruben Giscard pick Islands by Pass and Gold Rush. Ban High Titus, Lobs and Cap. Quarry, Hidden Fort and Moodflow. And then cross the first one. Then we have Japanese, Persians, Dravidians, Italians. Sorry, Persians. Dravidians, Italians, Khmer, Malians, Incas, the Vikings and Turks, Hivan, Armenians, Bohemians, Malay, Georgians, Poles, Robert Giscard's band, Byzantines, Mongols, Cumans, Chinese and Spanish. And he picked himself Japanese, Portuguese, Britons, Burgundians, Lithuanians, Vietnam, Berbers and Franks. Let's see. That's scared of our Viper Draft? Who? Who is scared of our Viper Draft? Alexius Com Comnenos? We will see, guys. We will see, amigos. We will really see. Okay? Yeah, so let's see. Alexius Com. Nenos, Robert Giscard. They are going to play now, and we have the first game that is cross. I think this is going to help a lot. Armenians and Georgians in Warlords. This is a very good point. And Sean, if he is the if 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 he is Leary, then we have a lot of more, a lot easier answers to who is who. You know, we'll see, you know, we'll see. Who did the subscription? Oh, Lucas Martins, a strong supporter on YouTube. Oh boy. Thank you, man. Really appreciate it. Vamos. Vamos, amigos. Gonna be beautiful. Waiting, guys for the first game that is going to be Persians versus Japan, guys. It's going to be Persians versus Japan. A very unguessable draft. Yes, it's kind of a mix of uh, very good sips and some that are not very popular. You know, Sean, I messaged you on Discord. One message, beautiful one. 
or Persians versus Lithuanians. Uh, no, Lithuanians is gonna be for Bay. I think Lithuanians eats a lot better on Bay, Sean. Really, you go for the dog early as well, and then you know where the relics are. It makes a lot sense Lithuanians on Bay. Really, I like a lot more. Uh, Lithuanians in Bay. Even in evacuation can be okay. But I think uh, in evacuation, I will go for Portugal. Well, maybe, maybe it can be, be Berbers or Franks in evacuation, actually. I don't know, man. This is, this is a weird draft. Because you need a civilization for gold rats that might be Burgundians. Who, which hero do you support, man? King Stephen. Stephen King. A.K. Doubt. You know? So we need to be all without, guys. All without King Stephen. Stephen King. Or Otto the Great. Because MBL is in the chat, guys. Otto the Great. Also we support, okay? Okay, guys? Don't forget about that. Shh. All right. So... Yeah, game not started yet. 30 minutes break. It's not that much. All the days were 40, so today we are good. Vamos, amigos. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, they don't give the, the, the games yet. I was just checking. I will play an ad, right, guys? Yeah, let's play an ad now before we start. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna enjoy it soon. It's gonna be quick. Vamos, amigos. Is there any Spanish hero? I have no idea, man. I should pay attention to the, to the historical videos. But when they are played, I'm sorry to say, guys, but... But I'm going AFK. I didn't listen a single of them. Oh! The video is here, man. Oi, oi, oi. That's why the video wasn't playing. Now it should be playing again. It was busy. Holy shit. In this scene, the video never got close. The video never got close. And then it was busy. What the fuck? Oh my lord! Unbelievable! Anyway, about historical videos. Uh, I can't pay attention. It's too much worse for me. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie. In the school, one of the subjects that I hated the most was history, guys. I love it. Everyone is different, but I love it myself. I love it maths, mathematics, because I love numbers. Yeah, but I never like it um, literature or stuff like this. I love it physics and chemics and mathematics and all this stuff, you know? I was always numbers, you know? Why? I don't know, because I'm like this. Anyway, guys, we have the game. And uh, Robert versus Alexios. Robert versus Alexios. Oh boy. Oh, really boy. And this is the draft. And this is the colors, guys. Alexios and Robert. And the colors are gray and green. Ooh. I'm gonna put as a blue. Let me just check who I have here. Alexios as a blue to have the the same as the draft, and Robert as red. Okay, guys. All right, we have cross with Japanese and Malians. Malians, not Persians. 
Japanese and Malians. Okay. Al revés, loco. What? Alexios is as a blue, no? Let me check the draft. Alexios blue, Robert Discard red. No? Yeah? It's correct, like the draft. Yeah. He picked Malians, not Persians. Okay. This is very interesting. This is very interesting because this can give you a lot of information, you know? A lot of information about about what they are going to pick. Yes. Robin Giscard, Japanese. Both are very strong saves. Doing the houses here. Already two houses in diagonal. Bosso with the prime. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. You know? Pushing the Bambis. Gonna make the dock. Okay. Okay, Robert is Carl, Alessios, Okomenos. There's a lot of people on YouTube. Yes, we have a lot of people on YouTube and we have 1,000 finally on Twitch. Let's go. Let's go, amigos. It's 8 p.m. 8 p.m. now on my country. Can you guys tell me which time is it in your country? I want to see spamming in the chat. It's not being a lot of spam. And when there is big tournaments, I love the spamming. So please, I'm checking the teleprompter and I want to see... What time is it? But say the country! Don't say the time only! Put the country! Me cago en la leche! Put the country, noobs! How can I know the countries if you don't put the country? My goodness! India, Germany, Romania, US, Italy. Okay. You are spamming a lot now. Okay. 11, 13. Wow, look at this time all over, you know? 420.69 here, that's a good time. Netherlands, well, as you can see, a lot of people from the same time as me. Is someone watching, guys? Okay, okay, it's a no. I don't want you to spam anymore. Let me focus in the game now. It's fine. Yes, we got people. Stop! Stop! Now I need people that is watching after midnight. Only people that is watching after midnight in their country, please. Can you tell me? Well, they are sleeping, right? Because they left the, the stream open. <laughs> okay. India, 1 a.m. That's it. Kazakhstan, in the night. Taiwan, Nepal, Hong Kong. Holy shit, man. Okay, guys. Everyone that is watching after midnight has now to subscribe. Huh? Huh? Well, I tried. It is well, I tried, you know, but didn't work, you know. <laughs> anyway, guys, focus. Red walling. Walling quite some. I like these walls quite a lot. You could wall this area. And he has already four fishing ships. For what they are doing right now, that doesn't give like any information so let's focus the goal is not the greatest but you can make the buildings here blue is doing the obama already alexios komnenos with the malians and he's not walling anything that's something important for example there is players that don't wall anything at all others that they are doing walls all the time or three walls yes five fishing ships Four fishing ships. And Red is sending already a Billiger to do another dog. But he has already archery range as fast as he can. Right away. Well, just the barrack now. Blue with the Malians going for the archers. Let's see. 
who is going to be this blue player. Okay. Tone watch. He was housed, but he react made tone watch, which I love it. It's a good, very good, very good uh, upgrade in in a map like this. And it gives you look a lot of information here. Yeah, it gives a lot of helps. But red is almost completely wall, really well protected. And blue is not wall and sending arches past. For now, this is a. This is a gameplay of someone very aggressive. Arches are already there in 11 minutes. Leary confirm. Okay. Guys, this guy is Leary. We have the kit. You know? We have the kit. He has a lot of farming here. He's already two arches. Let's see how he's gonna deal with the with the skirms. He's controlling the scout. He's killing the spear. He's doing an amazing micro right now. A really good one even without the fletching. Taking this one. You gotta be careful. The arches are coming. He has to go away. He's gonna bring the spear. Okay. But he's putting the pressure here. You have to be careful. He's just dealing with the scout. Let's see. He need to go back now. Okay. Not losing the scout and trying to be very aggressive. And ignoring the, the dogs, you know? This is usually the gameplay from the kit. Let's see. How is gonna be the following? You know? Let's see. Well, Sebastian is a... Is a aggressive player too. As far as I know. But I have not seen him that much. You know? Well, let's see. He lose a aggressive player blue. While red is a waller boy. It's a waller man. Yeah. And walling like this helps a lot when you are Japanese and have two pawns. Not gonna lie. Okay. The archer needs to survive. He's not walled completely yet. He's bringing more army. Still bringing more army. And now he's doing the fletching. Okay. Red is fully walled now. What is now blue going to do? He still have no walls, just the buildings here. And now, he's trying to make a dock with two villages. He's gonna do it and now gonna move this one. He has to go and, and move. And don't lose that one. Please don't lose the villager. Yeah, he's not losing it. He's gonna make it with this one. Or not. Yes, he will. He did it. And now he can go away. He's doing a second dock. And not gonna be very easy to kill the fish because they are Japanese tanky. No, no, no. You have to do skirms. I know that you say it about all the arches, but skirmishes nowadays are really, really strong. You cannot go arches anymore. The pattern is not the best. The, the skirmishes are now better than before. They were buff. They, they, they are stronger. So, yeah. It's not all the arches anymore. That villain is gonna die. Alexios come... Nenos! Is dead, Villier. And here he's just trying to be aggressive here. We'll see. Economy. Really good. Like, really, really good. He lost the Villier. Yeah, 1-1 one, one for both. And now... He's doing the second dog here soon. Doing the market. And both players will go up soon. Red with the market abuse. is even gonna be faster than his opponent. The market, man. The real market. You can see how it's very easy to go up to Castle in Well, easy. It's very quick to go to Castle H. This is... Let's see if there's going to be some quick walls here. He's just going away. The archer is with fletching. Let's see if there's going to be some house or something. Trying to, to dive, but... No, he lost it. Mm, okay. Okay, that's... That's not Leary with the quick walls. Gonna lose another? Now he's not Leary anymore. You know? Not a smooth... Uh, 
quick plays here. It's only the first game. We have to see. We have to see, guys. It's still not easy when the archers got pledging. Both are going up. He lost now three villages blue. Few houses here. Wall in this area. Fishy ship. And the dock is gone. Red has a good position because of the fish, but he has also eight fishing ships. It's fine. It's fine for both players, but obviously Red a little bit ahead because of those archers that dominated some villager here. As you can see, when you're wall completely, you're always getting the advantage. Burns! 51 moons! Thank you for the prime. Lear versus Doubt, in my opinion. Doubt played yesterday, man. Seriously. Stop mentioning Doubt. Doubt is one of those 100% confirmed. Please. 100% confirm. One, two, three tone centers. And now blue, what? He has a lot of food and look at the goal. Crazy. Didn't wall this. DC on the wooden goal. And what is he going to do? He's doing skill bar in armor, botkin. Doubt his skin is stiffen. See to our shop and Skirmishes as well. Siege Workshop already. Hmm. Interesting. The knight is coming. He's going cap archers. Red. Okay. Who is this? Who is Smash? Smash! 11 moons. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Elite skirmishers. Oh. Well, he has Kavars is on a knight here. The monk is at home. The problem with the siege workshop is forward. You need something to support it or you will lose the siege. Now this is skirms. You need to wall this area. It's going to wall something. Not really. Well, the schemes can help, but the knight is the problem. Well, it's okay because you will have a monk in a moment. But this one is there is kind of a mess. And Robert Giscard still have 13 fishy ships, three more. Is Japanese one. He still need to wall. Oh, baby, he wall it now in the last second. Yeah, and... With the monk, he can convert the knight and then do a domination. Another Valir down. That he has ballistic? No. But now red, that wallet completely himself. Oof. Idle economy, nine villages. Quite a lot of idols now. Look at those villages. Come on. Need to fix it. Need to fix it. Deleted both. But guys, 61 villages, 47. Red now has a brutal advantage with the Echo. Three, four Mangonels. Four Mangonels. Well, he's reading the game properly. He knows that his opponent it's ahead with the with the with the economy. Okay. Sticking the villager now. Yeah, the boon is very strong. Five mangonels? Holy shit. He's really gonna try a big push. But you need something else. He's coming now with a few camels as well. Don't have... He has the three monks in front. And the five mangonels definitely gonna take the TC really quick. It's five mangonels. And what is Red going to do? More stables. He's mining a lot of stone. 
is very, very aggro here. He's like all or nothing. He took also two villains here. Wow. No ballistic, of course. Yeah. And now the micro is so important here. He needed three shots to kill one mangonel, and he lost two mangonels, which is not ideal. Now chain bar the armor. Coming with the nice plus two is gonna be a domination. He has few monks. The micro from blue is not being the best. And okay, it's only the first game, but with this kind of aggression, looks like uh, could be a Sito gameplay. I agree. Very aggressive. Not the best micro now. Going all in, losing almost another mangonel, not anymore, trying to convert, but this game is over. But then about red, he's reacting good with uh, with the stables, but now he's housed. Oh man, the cameras are coming. He has more army blue with three TCs. No this stable coming here. Zero is on goal for red. Like a spike, go. Like a spike, go. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let me check Red. Uh, Red is doing few things wrong here. He's still with zero on goal. Not a single relic. Why he's not mining goal is kinda, you know, he's just focusing on recovering the main goal here with the castle. But he could be already in a better position, in my opinion. What I like it is that, oh, the camels need to go. The camels will go and now will take the knights. The skirmishes are there. It's good camels, but don't leave those. You can take the these mangroves, not really. Now he's killing the buildings. You know that the castle is gonna be there, but it's still only two tone centers. Well, blue is keep attacking and doing extra TCs, which I like it. It's good. It's really good. Bloodlines, husbandry. He has good farming now. A lot of farms and villages on coal. I have the feeling that with this kind of approach, blue can maybe come back in this game and if the score is behind. I like these games. You know, I don't care who they are. What I like it is that the game is wild and aggressive. And this is what we want. Now doing the bloodlines. You know, he has the plus two and bloodlines as well. But this is camels. And he's still attacking. Now he's mining gold, but... Don't feel that Red has now the best economy ever. Not at all. Yeah. Not, not at all. The list, 94, yes. But Blue is catching up, 85. He's coming back from the hell. It was behind, but with this aggression, Blue is working really hard to get back in the game. Very nice job here. You gotta be careful. Good micro with those mangonas now. And taking this table. Now the light guy is gonna mine his stone. The TC is the fourth. And need to check this. Because the mangonel is coming and he sees it. And now chain bar in armor. Upgrades Pozo. Horse collar. Will Barrow. Taking the mangonel. Whoa. He's doing now the samurais. Someone said that red is top four. Eh. I'm not so sure about that. He has been wall, and being wall is easy to raid. You need to now counter well when you are under the pressure. And now he is under the pressure. Attacking his own camels is awesome. Is terror? No, he's not qualified in the event. But he is a great member of the community. Oh boy. In BL Blue, Blue has played already. Three mangonels. Taking the tone center. Crazy aggression by Blue. Crazy aggression by Blue. Now more and more camels. 16 camels plus two. Three mangonels. Taking the TC skirmishers. He's going with three knights, but his wall here. Okay. And now he's doing another castle, but the castles are kinda too close to his base. Okay. 53 farmers, 53 farmers, whoa, it's a crazy economy, now doing a big bada boom here with the, with the mangroves, Blue is doing an amazing job, look at his army, and being behind in the start, he's coming back from the hell, let's see the reaction here, he need to react with the three, knee convert with the monk, the monk, 
should have been converted. Let's see if these three knights is not gonna kill a lot of his game, but look at the score, guys. And the score is crazy. Red is still fine? Okay, Red is dead, man. Not fine, Red is dead. Completely dead. How you can say that Red is fine? Red has lost now only five bullets, yes, but he's losing all the ground and blue is gonna go up to Imperial in a moment. He's gonna drop a castle on his face and he's gonna kill Red. A hundred percent. Because the timing, because the momentum is for blue, man. Blue Alexius Komnenos with a castle on top of that hill with almost 60 farmers, you know. Crazy farm farming he has now. He's being really, really aggressive. I don't know who Blue can be. Definitely an aggressive player that got some loss in the start. But when aggressive from the start, Red was wall. And that's why he raided a little and took the advantage. But Blue came aggro. Full aggro. He did five mangonels from the start. And I think he kept some of them even. He's plus two attack now. And this stone center is going to be down. The guy who was telling that Red was still fine is still thinking that he's fine. Oh boy. We need to see more about it. Because, I mean, if Sito played usually very aggressive, Sito usually have a little bit less, not less, a little bit worse macro. I feel that this blue has got behind this aggression an incredible macro for sure. Check his resources, you know? It's aggressive and very good macro. This is the key here. Because many players can be aggressive. But how many players can be aggressive and have a good macro and micro? You know, the most important, the macro, you know? That's really important. It's crazy amount of farming, 177, 186 population, but it's kind of corner. You know? I need to see more games. And still, I think red can be ACCM red. Let's see the score and things. Why I think can be ACCM. Walling a lot from the start is something that ACCM do it a lot. You know? Okay. We'll see. Yeah. No, Mr. Yo, don't think he's in this series. Smile. But it's too early. You know, still, what what Blue is doing is amazing. Parimba, plus four, Cavaliers, chemistry. I mean, he has all the damn upgrades that Malians can get after being behind in the start. He has only this fish. I still think that can be leery. This, this, this is not from, from BF players. You know? We'll see, guys. We still need to see other maps. Cross is a very, very specific map. The TC is gonna be down. The camel's got all the upgrades. Look at the population, 200 pop. Blue is playing amazing, in my opinion. Crazy. And what like I like the most from Blue gameplay is that he, he read the game properly. He was like 20, 25 bullets at some point down. And then he came with the Siege War shop and he started to make five mangles, a lot of aggression. And behind that, an uh, incredible boom. He's gonna be an Imperial now red, yes. But he's 3,000 score behind. And he's having only the corner. I really believe that red is ACCM. Also, he made a pause and say lag spikes. Okay, servers would be a nam, you know. The lag spike can happen. You know, details. But mostly, the CCM being wall completely, being now 3,000 score behind, not even calling it. He has basically no army now. His opponent has all the upgrades. We'll see. He's doing the house. Plus four, Halbert is. He has five pikes right now. Well, blue. He's going all in and he's taking absolutely everything right now with these units. Fully abraded, plus seven attack, plus four defensive. Three threat, which is taking the castle, killing absolutely everything. 
4,000 score behind. If he resigned with 5k score, confirm. ACCM confirm. No, that wasn't ACCM, Garrick. That wasn't ACCM. Oh, baby. Yeah, the cast is gonna be down. This is now a incredible raid all over the map. And well, population is double. Double the population for blue. Can't cut already. And about to have. Oh, it's 4k score only. Mm, that's tricky. But guys, blue has destroyed. Blue has destroyed his opponent. Really? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Alexius Comnenos. Whoa. Very strong play. Very strong play. We have to see more games to see more standard maps. This map is not a really meta map because there's a lot of factors involved, like the fish, you know, many things, you know. No, it's not NBL. NBL is, is auto the great, man. What the hell? How many times I have to say that NBL has played already? You know, 223, 112 economy. And uh, look at the food and the goal he got. That's crazy, actually. Yeah, man. I think Blue did an incredible comeback in this game. If we check social, we will see that at some point, Red was... Look, here he was already 15. Yeah, even 20 villains ahead, guys. Yeah, around... No, 22 villains ahead. Look, in 27 minutes, he has 75-53. Yeah, it, it keeps the, the advantage here. Look. Holy moly, man. And then did a comeback with the great decisions. Insane decisions. Yeah, really good play, guys. Really, really good play by, by Blue. Decisions here matters a lot, you know, and did well. Really well. I will play a nat. I mean, the most important here that I want you to tell me. Did you enjoy with this game? I enjoy a lot with this game. A lot. Really, really a lot. Was very good. Cross is bringing some nice games, you know? And this was a very good one. Malians want to Japan. Okay. Okay, it was very nice game. Yeah, very, very nice game. I love it. The next game is gonna be Gold Rush. Gold Rush. Okay. Gold Rush. What is he gonna pick in Gold Rush, this player? Hera red? Hera gonna lose the game like he did? Yeah, yeah. He's red. No, he's yellow. Hera is yellow. Blue is top four, four players for sure. Let's wait. We need to see, man. We need to see. Well, top four, top five, top six can be close, right? So, let's see, guys. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ha. Yeah, I mean, the most important thing was very fun. This is what we need the most. Very fun games. Otherwise, it's Titanic. You know, we need really fun games. If not, disaster. Fun games is the way to go, guys. The way to go. Seriously. Okay. Waiting for, for the next game to start. Music is super intense. Oh, man. Was Winchester already identified? I think so. The next game is Gold Rush, guys. Not by pass. It's Gold Rush. Okay? And we got the game. Vamos. Let's see civilizations. I'm hyped, guys. Now I'm hyped. Well, when I feel good games, 
when I watch good games, that's it. That's it, man. I don't need anything else. You know, I really don't need anything else. It's it's too easy for me, man. Well, Robert Keep with Gray. Robert is the same name as Roberto Tato, right? So, <laughs> anyway, let's see what is going to be. Alexis Comenos versus Robert Giscard. We have Khmer versus Burgundians. Khmer in this map. Mantelain says in Sis Benex. So what? This is recorded games. Okay. I'm thinking about Khmer. Khmer. I have seen Sito in this map with Khmer. I've seen many players with Khmer in this map. You know? I think I have seen also Hera with Khmer in this map. I will go a little bit quicker. Who do you think is Tatot? Uh, I honestly think that Tatot... I'm starting to think that Tatot can be the... The second game of day one that it was called I don't remember the names man fuck it seriously I can't really Super Titan 93 take over the six moons Sumanguru versus Jim Burrow I think so I think so it can it can be Tato that one for how he macro after being in some situations, then decisions making. Yeah, it can be. Okay, Mill. And blue with four bullets on wood. Four bullets on wood with Khmer? What is the approach then? I'm thinking. Red is walling, which is normal with Burgundians, but he walled also in the previous game. A lot of people have played Khmer in this map. Or in this map or in the tournament, right? But you got a bot in the chat, amigo? Who? Who is a bot in the chat? Who are you talking, Valiant? Kajamada? Catch a mother was against who? Let me just check again. I think that Mr. Yo. Man. After thinking about that and and thinking about times that Mr. Yo has played behind uh, behind in the score, I think that can be Yo, man. You know, I don't know. The food with my family was beautiful, really beautiful. I will try to send you some pictures. I'm asking my my wife to send me some picture from today, so I saw you later. Cosa, Cosa zero zero eight, Cosa. I remember that nickname for some big support, but it's been a while. Thank you, man, for the prime. Well, red is wall and all, but wall and all here doesn't give any information because everyone wall everything here, you know? What I don't understand is so many villains on wood with Khmer. I mean, it's fast castle, but you don't need that many villains on wood with Khmer. No? Like, well, he's gonna make farms, maybe. Okay. Bye. They are walling and they are going to go fast castle. 
He's going up 25 population. Well, they know better, right? Yeah, he's gonna make farms. That's why he's also walling. He has people is on wood. He will have the resources to go straight to castle. It's probably. Wild Red has already horse collar. Dolby tax. He did the loom. Obviously, blue, no loom. No loom. Why he did the loom, Red? That's a good question. I have no clue. Why the hell he did the loom? It will be Siege Pass with the Scarps. If my mod, guys, is right, I will not troll him anymore today. <laughs> you thought more days? Only today, man. What the hell? Anyway, let's see. Tenary! He's having the... Look at the transition, man. It's perfect. It is perfect. It's just exactly the food. Oh my god! And I was telling about the transition is just 100%. 800 food, 200 gold. Timing and momentum. Perfect, man. Horse collar now. What the hell? Okay. Perfect, man. Just perfect. Pineri, do you still in, in Malaga or, or you are back to... Or you are back to the hell? Spray shed below order. <laughs> okay. So many Hera fan boys. Huh? Double be tax. You're at home already? Man, time fly. What the hell? This feels like an AM matchup. AM matchup. There's only two AM players. No, actually it's three. Leary and Biel and Hart. Okay. Well, it's gonna be boom. So, Jimmy Raynor, I will troll you. He's not even sending anything forward. Oh, no. No, 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 please. Is he sending villages forward? No, he's gonna be a TC here. Yeah. TC here. Okay. No loom. And? Time to wall. Oh, the scout is there. So he's fine. Another TC. Okay. Now walling just in case. He has the stable on the market. Bozo and heavy plow. This this approach is the, is very standard with uh, with Burgundia. He's gonna make a TC here probably on that goal. Or we'll try to go aggressive. Oh, if he's doing the blast maybe. Maybe he's gonna go for siege. Oh, holy moly. So my mod said that blue was going to go Scorpions forward, Siege Workshop, but then it was the other player. Yeah, he wanted to say red. I know. Yeah. He's exploring the wolves, and now he's gonna go Siege forward, Robert. No, no, no. He's forward. But this is, this is interesting, because in the previous game, it was the opposite. Blue came aggressive, and now it's red, the one who is going aggressive. Siege Workshop, Haslandry, okay. And he also picked the Great Core. I'm confused now, it's very difficult, man. This guessing thing is very difficult. No, I don't think Viper is in, the, is in this game, honestly. I mean, if I think Blue played very well in the first game, it, it didn't feel like Viper. I don't see Viper going forward five mangonels. Right, guys? I don't. Yeah. 
Yeah, his house it. Red. Need to make houses. He need to make houses. Where's the houses? Give me a house. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. So sloppy, man. The house now gonna happen. He's being housed for already a minute. Now doing Will Barrow and he could do it long time ago. 45 seconds now doing a house. This is sloppy, man. Well, very sloppy being housed that much. But now Blue is gonna make these tables. Okay, very important. Very important how Blue is gonna play now to, to get an idea if this can be the Canadian, you know? Let me check. Who this can be? He's doing a scout now, double stable. How they are going to control now the units is so important. It's three mangonels, two light cast, two spears, one monk. Not gonna be easy. You need to repair the 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 TC with probably more villages. Now he's doing the outpost, but it's very obvious that it's gonna happen now. Light caps, right? Light cast upgrade, but we'll need more. Oh, oh, oh. Why he's not using one mangonel to kill the list? In this situation, one mangonel to kill the list. But guys, 33 villas, 53. Obviously red with the army. Now doing extra town centers. And being really, really aggressive. The light cut will come. But he's gonna do... Oh. Micro? Micro here. No micro. He has the loom. No houses here. So he's gonna lose some more villas. He didn't see how he opened here and that's definitely not good not good now he made the house okay and he has triple stable this is oh oh this is really good if he's m taking now the monks oh my god he's going now with the light caps going with the village you need to be careful don't lose more he's gonna take now the mango is killing a, a lot even if he loses the village, he knows that he's so ahead with the economy. So, he take all the mangroves and the monks, which is fine. But now he lost 8 villages already. And now he has 46 villages, 40. Not 20 villages anymore. Not 20 villages more anymore. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. But he's still taking monks and killing all the monks here, Blue. Yeah, he's taking everything. He took a lot. Need to go back. And he kind of stopped the push. He has no mangroves and no monks. So the army he killed blue. Very expensive. Now he can combine with the knights. And that can be a clean. A really clean up here. He's still with 8 villains more now doing the pikeman upgrade. Will borrow also. Well, we'll borrow too for red. So no problem. In that regard. But the knight's gonna help a lot. You need to be careful with the knight. Don't get converted. The light cut is coming. The light cut will do the job. Now he's blocking. Oh my god. Nice block by red. But yes, he got it. Okay. Good army. 12 army, 9 army. Well, it's different. Not that, that much anymore. And 3 TCs. Whoever they are, the games are being really fun. First game fun. Second game really fun as well. Correct or not? Correct or not? Blue is down hundred percent. Stranger. Stranger, man. Just keep watching, man. Keep watching, man. Doubt and BL and MBL are confirmed. Already confirmed. Okay. He converted. A mango? No, it's his own mango. I'm an idiot. Blue doesn't have a siege. Okay. And now he's killing, trying to snipe, trying to control the units. He's controlling those? Not really. Oh my god, losing two light caps, not great. Preparing the TC, Belize on gold. No, no problem, doing more. Remember, Temer is so strong, bloodlines, that he has any upgrade? No, he has the blast bit, but 500 stone. He's giving up the TC. Okay. It's expensive to repair all the time. Still 15 villas ahead. He can see the TC here. Yes, he does. And I wonder what is Blue going to do now. Yeah, the reaction from Blue. He's taking okay decisions, but I don't feel that his reaction is super fast to be one of those 
top, top, top players that we're talking. I mean, he's playing good, he's playing good, but uh, I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. It's too many pies, guys. It's too many pies here. Like, really many pies, but there's a lot of knights now. The knights are without upgrades, only bloodlines. He need to be careful, but now he's taking a lot. They're gonna kill the mangonos now. Oh my god. Okay, I changed my mind. He's controlling the army like a god now. Wow, killing. No! Yeah, he's taking everything. Absolutely everything now, Blue. Gonna remake another, ca another TC or gonna make a castle? I don't know. He has a lot of stone. Look at the wood. And he controlled the unit really well. He's coming here with the castle, but he has the army. He's trying to make the castle here, but he can't. He's gonna be able to break or not. Oh my lord. Blue is breaking here. Break the house. It was 11 HP. What the hell? Now he changed his mind on doing a TC here. And we'll do a castle in this area. I like it. It's good decisions. Yes, it is. Good decisions, Mighty Morristone. And well, idle TC, quite a lot of idle. Very nice game for sure. Villa is different, only 8, 7. Uh, heavy Plow, Horse Collar, and Card. Ooh. And red is Stone Wallin. A Stone Wallin. Which is not even important here, because you make one elephant, and you could, guys. And you could. I don't think Hera is in this game. I might be wrong, even if he controlled well the army there, because I believe that Hera should be ahead 30 villages at this point. He's ahead only 11. You know, only 11. And Hera usually doesn't get this amount of idle TC. That's a lot of a lot of idle TC. No, no, no. No, no, no. I think this is more a, a top player, you know, something like, someone like this. Very aggressive one. But with less macro for sure. Yeah. Anyway, let's see. The game is fantastic, it's on the way to Imperial Age. While Red is on the way to nothing. To nothing. Okay. That's no wood, look at the foot. Dangerous Madness 93, vamos! Vamos means thank you in Spanish. Oh my god. Man, James Uk. James UK. You know nothing about the Spanish, man. What the hell? Vamos, thank you. Vamos means let's go, man. What the hell? At least learn something, man. Like, like, like seriously. What the hell, man? Something, man. Just a little bit, man. Merci is also let's go in French. <laughs> anyway, RT range, chemistry. And now, ooh, Custelier is here. Custelier reading, blue reaction is not so great. He has also all this in this area. It's not walling a little bit, but he has houses. He has to be careful. Okay, more knights are coming. Village number 9695. What the hell? Same village number is kinda. Ooh. Trebuchet here, Cavalier, Chemistry, but he got zero upgrades with those knights. Only plus one. So, I don't know. In the late, late game, if Blue is not going quick, he's gonna lose the game, guys. He's gonna lose the game, and Robert gets car. It's gonna have now Burgundians, a pretty sick civilization in Imperial. 
You know, he's, he's, he's attacking the caster quicker. He has still one minute needed here. But those cavaliers are kinda naked. Now he's doing his kill bar and armor. He's gonna do a castle at home. Why there? Why the castle there? I don't know. I really don't know. But it's still. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh, the three witches are down, and that's terrible. That's terrible because you lose all the momentum. And killing the traps is what you need. By the way, we forgot that you can do hand cannoneers with uh, with uh, Kimber, which is nice. But the village is different now. Is not, it's the same village number. He's doing now RT ranges as well. Okay, another blast bit, so he's gonna have the, the upgrades quicker. But blue is not booming at all, it seems. Well, he is now, but the castle is in top of that hill. Remember that you get bomber cannons with Burgundians, while no bomber cannons with with Khmer. Dangerous. Difficult game for Blue, in my opinion, now. But he still have the, 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 the better units for now. Well, he got 16 Custelier, guys. Unique units, man. Rolling with house at the traps. Now, getting more and more village bolt flies, but look at the army numbers from Alexios. Come, come on us. Yeah, he's all over now. It's starting to have. Oh my god. Guys, blue he has vision for all the map right now. He's all over the map. He's controlling the, the situation very well. Population 160. And not even doing the market till now. It's all his own economy. Look at the cavalry is now gonna take the traps because he see everything and he know that the custodians are out of position. Yeah, he's trying to kill, but he can. He's taking the trap and if he take this castle, Blue is gonna do the job with a war civilization. He's playing well, guys. Blue is playing now really, really good. You know. He's taking some very good decisions. The hand cannoneers are there. The Trebuchet is still attacking. Gold mine and Arbret. Only missing the hand card. He should do it as soon as he noticed. But the hand cannoneers are lovely. The Trebuchet in danger to it lost. Because the bomber cannot. But he's converting some Crystalier as well. This is really nice game again. Population very, very solid. The hand cannoneers are coming to take the bomber. And he is trying to out micro him and control the units. The Bomber Cannon, no problem. Hand Cannon is doing great. Now this is a good solid micro by Blue. Because those Custodians are really, really awful to deal with. And I like a lot how Blue is playing now. Very, very well. He has also buildings here with more Hand Cannon is to raid. The caster will be up. He's gonna be up. He's losing some, but he's having map control again. Got it. Good reaction here. The Trebuchet is still attacking and won't have a stone forever. But the Bomber Cannons is the key, man. The Bomber Cannons is the key. And the Bomber Cannon will take the traps, probably. No, he's going back a little bit. He's still ready somehow, but unable to really finish the game. He's going back now with those and he can still take the goal. Gonna do more traps. I would love to see Blue with more villages, which... Is exactly what he's missing now and more farms. Obviously, 11 on wood is not an oath. And pro oh my god, this castle. If you could, and he's open also, to control everything. Remember that maybe without having the goal completely, you maybe that can't take the game. We'll see. Blue is, tr is trying now something wild, you know? And he's doing a crazy castle. But, but. But, but, but. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good anymore. Anyway, the castle is about to be down. Cavaliers are there to trebuchets. Oh, oh, oh. You gotta be careful. You really gotta be careful. 
Oh, man. Cavaliers now with hand cannoneers as well. He's going to kill those bomber cannons. He's trying. He does have the plus four in those cavaliers. Now the hand cannoneers are killing. And the... Uh, who can be this place? I have no clue now anymore. I have no clue, really. I'm not sure. But... I don't feel a guy is now... I'm missing something. We need to analyze, but we're missing something. I don't feel these are the top four are uh, either. Very good players and nice gameplay, but... But not any of the Hera's Viper and uh, and sisters, you know? I think Blue is Doubt, yes. And his nephew. Yeah. Doubt played with Stephen King, guys. Stephen King is doubt for me. You know? Stephen King is doubt. Uh oh. Careful. Read a lot of army, guys. 142 bullets. Crazy amount of army. 200 population. And he called the GG Robert Giscard. Really nice game here in this one. Really, really nice game. And I think we could see here a ACCM versus Cito, maybe. Maybe. But ACCM the winner of this game, Valiant. It could be. I don't know. We'll see. More games happening, you know? Is this is early resign? He's 2,300 score behind and he's, too, he's, he's early resign. He was dead, man. Military or Sebastian? Well, maybe I don't know. Fifty more kills. Economy, five thousand more resources, and beautiful guys. Yeah, beautiful game to watch. That's for sure. Okay, one one guys. Let me play a nut. If I find it, people on YouTube, don't forget to thumb up, to subscribe, leave a comment, and to support guys. We need to support this crazy channel, please. It helps a lot, you know. And um, pam pam pam. Let me just put the draft here. The 1-1. One, one. Band Gold Rush. Won. He won with... Well, the normal is that Burgundians win to Khmer. What do you think, guys? I think Burgundians is stronger. I think Burgundians is stronger. You know? ACCM played versus Winchester 4-0? No, I don't think that was ACCM. And I don't think it was Winchester either. Yeah, we'll see. To be honest, I don't care. I want good games. Come on. Come on. Guys, don't tell me, guys, that... I'm going to show you now some picture from... Uh, from me and my... And my family. You know? If you don't mind. And if you mind, it's what it is. This is today with my boy... With my little boy that is, is getting bigger and bigger, man. Really. This is my... Oh, I am his... Um, this is my nephew. I am his godfather. El Padrino. You know? I am his godfather. You know? And, uh, yeah. And then, this is my princess and my, my little boy. They are... They are so big already, man. With the wife. Doesn't matter, my wife. It's only matter, guys. My wife only matters here, guys. Fuck, idiot. Don't donate. She's here. Now she saw Scarlet. Assholes. It's a Scarlet, but it's, 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 it's another. It's, it's not. It's nobody. Well, if it's double sound, it's what it is. It deserves double sound, triple sound, four sound. You know, it's what it is, guys. So after that clip, why I'm gonna show the, 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 the anything else? I can't, man. Why it has double song? Let me just check. Mm. 
I don't know. I don't care. If he's half double son, is what it is. Who cares, man? Let me just check why it has double son. But we are starting soon. They didn't give me the game. Yeah, they didn't give me the game. Tell me if now... Tell me if now is... Is... Uh, is double. Fuck, idiot. Don't donate. She's here. Now she saw Scarlet. Assholes. Nothing is fixed there. All is disaster. It's Scarlet, but it's... it's... It's another. It's, it's not. It's nobody. It's nobody, guys. It's nobody. I think. I think it's pretty. Why are you all loud? Why are you all loud? It's not fun. It's really not fun. It's not fun. Shh. Game number three. Alexius Komenknos, Robert. Why they they change all the colors all the time? Blue Dravidians Berbers Dravidians versus Berbers What the hell? I will go a little bit forward to catch up but Dravidians versus Berbers Okay Blue are Dravidians Red as Berbers Who they can be? I don't know. I want good games. Good games, amigos. Nah, the colors don't speak anything. Well, Dravidians is okay here because of the fish, but if you don't get an advantage from the water, better destroy Dravidians, man. I think so, really. You know? I think so. They, they has been picking colors difference in all the games. Valiant. All the three games has been different colors. Yeah, they need to get a big lead on the 30 minutes. Otherwise, Berbers dominate. Really, I think so. Let's see what is going to be. Hopefully they will play aggressive again, you know? Aggressive is the way to go. Dog at the back, another dog at the back. Well, can be on a side, but you know, makes more sense here at the back. Remember that, well, all the land party is here, all right? Brutality. Kamalash is counter the Fatty Archer, right? Not really. But to get Elephant Archers, you need to get an insane economy. You know? My back is killing me today. Guys, I need to stretch. I really need to stretch. Oh boy. Okay. It's taking a board so far. And you can do it nice, small palisade. And you can do that because Berber Valleys are also faster. Red is Ganji. Yeah. 
Yes. Red is Ganji. Red is Ganji. Is Ganji? How was his 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 home maps? Let's see if he's gonna lose this scout. He lost this scout. Well, then Titanic for both. You know? Full Titanic is bad to lose the scout this is stage of the game. Both lost the scout. Not top four. Anyway, um, draft. Let's take the draft to see if it's Ganji. Maps that he picked. Let me check. Evacuation Arabia by, and he picked Gold Rasp Alans by pass. He's Ganji, guys. He picked two clone maps, Gold Rasp by pass, and then Islands. He is Ganji. Red is Ganji confirmed. You know? He's walling the Palisade here. Yeah. Unless this is maybe Tatot? No. No. Tatot don't, don't play that way with Kemmer. Definitely not. Some idol here for Alexius Comenos. He has two militias there. No, I'm still working on my life. Espera, un momento, te voy a enseñar a la gente. Guys, my son is calling me on the mobile. Dile hello. Dile hello ahora. Do you hear him? ¿Qué quiere mi vida? ¿Qué quiere? De la hermana. No lo sé, mi vida. Ya ahora estoy trabajando, ¿vale? Luego te lo digo. Cuando, te, cuando termine. Venga, un beso. No me acuerdo, mi vida. No me acuerdo. Venga, un beso. My son is a gamer, guys. Anyway, sorry that I took it, but when my son called me, they, I, I have to take it, guys. I'm sorry, you know, because I'm always afraid that something happened, you know? But he just called me for, for gaming. They only want me because of the interest, man. I feel used, guys. This is disaster. Yeah, yeah, right priorities. Four, five scouts. Look at those archers. The scouts and skirmish is here. Well, blue, one RG range only. But he has the galleys. Oh, he has one. Oh, oh. I don't know. He's gonna clean everything. Let's see the micro. Do you agree that this can be Ganji? It can, but it's very important to see the bypass game. How he played, it's gonna tell, it's gonna tell us a lot. Really, really a lot. Fletchy now. Okay, got it. But yes. Not many on, on the land. It's four archers and, and, and three spears. Red don't have his, uh, the fletching, which is not great. I don't like that he did that. Sons are usually in jail when they call father. I'm sorry for you, man. 
Look at this chaos and the skirmishes. Okay, be careful. Oh, he's gonna take this one or not? Well, I'll let you command us. He has okay economy, which is normal with Dravidians and having the fish. Yeah, Red is not having now the... Ooh. A lot of idle TC. Yeah, when there's so much idle TC and this macro, you know what's going on. It's easier, easier to guess. Blue also has over one minute idle TC too. You know? Hmm. It's only five skirmishes here. But he's gonna buy now a lot of food to go up. Still missing resources, or with 800 gold is almost... Still buy? Yeah, it's too far, but look at blue. With the Dravidian's economy, right? Uh-oh. Well... It's just skirmishes, but this is the problem with Dravidians. It's so... So... Expected what they can do. Yeah, but, but going up to Castleage, which is great, right? And then... What are you doing, Castle? What is the transition? Red is doing forging. But... Okay. He needs kind of more army. He has two scouts and one spear only. Moving more Velisky. He has only one spear. There's a galley. It's a spamming army. Doing another archery range. This is going to be annoying now. He could micro against that scout. He got it. Very nice. He saw it. The transition to Castle from blue is still solid. Okay. Oh, another villager down. Has killed already three. Sticking more skirmishes. There's not a lot of farming. He's getting there's no bowling here. And this is the goal. You need the goal. There's another village that they are in danger. Guys, check red idle economy. Not only the idle LTC. Red has a lot of lists that are not working. You know? It's 24 minutes idle economy. That's crazy, actually. That's really crazy. That's why his economy is really weak, I believe. Oh, man. It's stable. He's gonna do elephants. Yeah, blue will do elephants. He has the water control. That's what he have the, the advantage. And he's in castleage now. He's far from going up. Okay. Yeah, this is a weird gameplay now by Red. Who is still spamming. And what is blue doing? Because blue... He's in castles and now he's doing Botkin. Okay. Skirmish is with plus two. Just one archer. He's going to lose another Belir. He didn't lose too many, to be honest. But now he's losing another. Okay. And why is this table? Elephant. Yeah. I mean, the elephant is going to dominate any feudal units. Like, they eat them. The problem is that they are slow, of course. But you want to attack. This is what you want, right? When you are in castle, you don't want to be defending. You want to attack. The on goal. Here. And the elephant is coming. But you don't have any mobility, you know. To do anything, man. To attack. Red is up. He has the same village. Well, seven villages more. 43, 36. So obviously he needs to be in castle. And then it will take a while. The goal is exposed. This is crossbows. He has six crossbows and one elephant to probably clean. Okay. Scale Barden armor will help a lot. The cavalry is going to be insane, so you need to do damage and quick. Red, definitely not moving all the villages. Oh my god. Got it. And got it. Okay, the TC is going to be great. And well, nothing here to defend against those scouts. That's crazy. Come on, man. Huh? Attack! 
Attack with the others. The multitasking is not great, but he's killing a lot now in front. Going for the farmers. They stop eating the TC. Oh my god. Control the units better, man. It still is chaotic. It's very chaotic. And he has 1,000 score ahead. Well read. It's now with 30 sizzles, guys. 38. But 7 fishing ships. It's a big advantage now. He's gonna be in castles and then maybe... Maybe one TC all nights can work. That's why he's doing another stable. He's gonna try to go one TC all in. Is the only choice. Remember in the first game, right? The uh, Alexios needed this situation. Now Red is the one who needs this. It's the tower. He has so many villages on berries. Two villages on wood right now, which is definitely not the best. Thank you for following. Okay. Pike went upgrade because he's suspecting the knights coming. Yep. He will. And they will. The knights are plus one, plus one. You need some pike. He's gonna take the, the knight. He will. Got it. Doing the barrack. Let's see how good is gonna be the micro now with the archers. Well, he has 50 is 39, man. It's, it's a huge economy difference. And the advantage that we were talking that he should have before 30 minutes is there, right? Is there, right, Mr. Sean? So he's gonna be able to finish this. 20 farmers, 15 on goal, five on wood only. Red is trying to mass knights, a lot of knights, but blue is coming with a lot of farming. Pikes and crossbows. Let's see if this is some kind of beautiful micro by the archer with the archers. And we can get some more hinge of who they can be. Okay. We delete the, the mining camp. It's coming with more pikes. Let's see the micro. He should kill the knights, and he's killing most of the knights. This is some good micro by blue. Yeah, solid. Very solid, killing a lot of them. Now he has to be careful, he's coming with more. And he did the damage, but... But nothing, he got a lot of pikes now, and doing more crossbows. The pikes are dominating here. It's just increasing more and more the advantage. More and more the advantage. Barak as well, just to have knights, to have pikes in the position, taunt watch. Monastery. Okay. Stone walls. I mean, some details make me thought that can be leery. Some others not. That's the problem, right? But, well, we'll see. It's true that leery is not... Okay. Okay, this is something good and very quick actually. How he delete it and make these upgrades there. Yeah, those moments are important. That was really quick. How he delete it. Very, very quick. Quick. Yeah. It, it, it's true that Lily can play insane and then has some sloppy games that he kinda yeah. Going with more and more pikes. We'll see. We'll really see. But that was really quick. He's coming now with huge amount of farming but doing his scorpions. He should do light guys maybe. Light guys could help a lot to deal with siege. But there's a lot of pikes. The pikes got plus one armor. It's so many pikes man. Really a lot of pikes. A lot of farming blue. Well, in the first game Blue played like a pro, like a real pro, you know? Then it wasn't the same in the second, but that can fit, kiss. You know, let's see now here. Also, we have seen many times how he gets it ready, and he did not notice GG has been called. Okay, we said about the ACCM before, no. 
This is not ACCM ever. I think, I think red is Ganji. I think red is Ganji and Alexios we have to discover yet. But I think red is Ganji. You know, it's my opinion. You know? Statistics, military. No, it's not Tatot. 100%. 1759 and economy, 6,000 resources more. Very nice. It was a nice game as a game, but he was 20 dollars ahead, you know. Dogao thinks the same. Dogao thinks that 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 red is Ganji. Yeah, I think it's Ganji. Yes. Okay. I think so too. That he's Ganji. That's what I think. Let me play an ad, guys, and I will update the score. That is Alexios 2-1. He won in evacuation and won with Dravidians, which, okay, against Berbers. Now it's going to be what? What map is going to be? Let's see, guys, what map is going to be. Can be islands or bypass. Will you do your prediction after this set? No. I will do my predictions in a video that I will upload tomorrow before the quarterfinals and then when we join tomorrow the quarterfinals i will give you my predictions you know because i want to upload a video with my top eight okay okay game four and it makes sense also you know i want to analyze the draft i want to make a good prediction not like it's so difficult like i cannot remember the the names you know I, I cannot remember the names the names of the heroes. So I need to check the I need to check the, the draft. And then when I check the draft, I remember the games because I casted them all, you know? Like this is so complicated. And then I can compare now, okay, that maybe is not tattooed, then maybe, and then I will do it, boom, you know? Usually memes guesses are on point. Well, in the previous hidden cap four, I miss it, guys. In four hidden cap, in the top eight, I did one mistake. One mistake in all four editions in the top eight. One mistake. I remember that I thought that one guy was ACCM and was Bhakti or, or something like this. That's it. All the other top eight, I said correct in the other four editions. But I was Titanic because I'm bad with the sellout and I never made, I never made videos or something. So now I'm going to do it. This will do Harry Potter character names so everyone can't remember. <laughs> Why can't Hidden Caps be C the bracket but just don't show C's or order? Because if they do, you know, much easier who, who they are, I believe. No? I guess so. No? Yeah, I guess. Oh, my game crashed. Fuck. Let me open. Well, they didn't give the games yet, but they will soon. I'm Mr. Manager. Nice. Mr. Manager, let's go. I only have the feeling that. Thank you for following. Well, my game is still crash for some reason. Hopefully I can. Give me a moment. I will restart the Steam. Thank you for following. Thank you for the follow. But a spoiler alert on your prediction video. Well, that's not a spoiler. It's just predictions. Doesn't have to be 100%, you know. We'll see. Okay. Vamos. Don't fail. For some reason, my game is not working, guys. 
Look what happened. For some reason, my game is not working. Give me a moment, guys. Give me a real moment. I will reset again, but I have done already. Yeah, but what happened, man? Holy shit. Well, I will show you the, the game on... Uh, yeah, I will show you the game of uh, with the T90 channel. No, that doesn't matter. Then I switch to T90. Go mouse 10 and don't come back. Yeah. I hope so. You know, I don't like these kind of people. Go away and don't come back, please. Yeah, it's a boring map, I know. It's a slow map. But my game is not starting, man. What the fuck is this? What happened? Just look what happened here. I cannot click. What the hell? I mean, we're watching the game. So I can cast because this is the, the observer. You know? Give me a moment, guys. I don't know what's going on. Like, I don't know what happened. Give me a second, guys. Well, the civilizations are the civilizations are Britons and Turks. Turks is for elections, Britons for, for red. And he's coming aggressive. He's doing the loom and he's going to try to wall in front. Well, he's going to try to kill. Now, this red is 100% 100% uh, Ganji. Blue is going to lose the Valir with Turks. And that might be a sloppy gameplay by, by Blue for sure. You know? Yeah, I'm trying to 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 update the game again and, and see what's happening, you know. And hopefully now the game will start. Please start the game, man. Oh, it's because of the servers or something. What the hell, man? Why this thing is happening to me? Holy man. Why this thing is happening to me? Well, I will start the game without the beta. Oh, man, I hate this, man. Why have this bad luck, man? Well, anyway... Yeah, well. I'm starting the game with the normal game without the without the beta. I don't know if that will work, but without the beta, maybe it can crash the game. No, they are not playing in the live patch, I believe. Nah, it's it's, it's crazy. Why the game? But the game should be open to me, you know. Yeah, let me ask. Uh, I don't know what to do, guys. You see what is happening. I mean, I can cast like this without the sound in the game, but because they didn't provide any. Give me a second, guys. I will try one more time.
Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Well, they are booming. Is the good thing you you are watching the game? I will go, guys, to the full screen to show you, so you can see a little bit better. For now, give me a moment. You're gonna see full screen here without sound for now, and uh, I don't know if I can fix this, but I will try. You know, at least you see the full screen. It's a boom game anyways. Okay. Let me they say that they have to be patient and and wait a bit till he's getting active. Let's see if, if waiting a bit it will get active. Yeah. Anyway, we have turns here. You can see the game at least, which is nice, but I will wait a bit, guys, to see. Can I? No, oh, I. Yeah. Well, I see the music. I listen the music. I listen everything, but the game doesn't start. It's yeah. I can't click anything. Can I? Maybe lead. Read the the capture H. Give me a second, guys. Yeah, I cannot. How is the games of those? How is called Alexius? Is by pass the game? Well, I think I think I fix it. Wait a minute. Is this one right? I don't know how, but I fix it. I don't know how, but I, I, I load for the capture H and the game now launch. Oh, okay. I will just minimize and I will go fast screen. We are back, guys. We are back. I don't know how I did it, but I did it, guys. It's what it is. Now I can remove this from here. Yeah, let's bring it here, guys. I read it from Capture H. Somehow, it worked. It. Okay, I will go fast speed. And I will go to 17 minutes, guys. We miss it not too much. I get very stressed with this thing. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I will go fast speed. Yeah, I put the colors properly, right? Let's go fast and speed because you were watching in uh, yeah, a few minutes and uh, they are in 18 minutes. So I will I will go live and we see it. Yeah. Just don't know why this happened, but at least if it's happened again, I know how to fix it. I can load the game from Capture H and then it's open the game because I couldn't click anything. I just loaded the game from Catridge and it worked. Anyway, you can see he lost the player, he's doing all the farms. Alexios has Turks versus Britons. This matchup is dangerous, man, and very interesting. 
which one I prefer in this one? I think I prefer Turks because this map has a lot of mobility and you can go to the sides with the Khazars, with the Cap Archers, you know? Yeah, we're catching up. They are in minute 19, but we're gonna go quick there, okay? He's mining stone, mining gold. He's gonna be fast in. Market, Plasmid. Well, he's mining a stone, so you can go fast in with a castle drop. Mm -mm -mm. Who do you think is blue? I'm not sure yet. But I think red is definitely Ganji. Yeah, I think so. Well, but Ganji will have picked monks in this map, maybe? Well, I will go and check the draft. Turks, Britons, Portuguese. I would thought that maybe pick Portuguese here. Anyway, let's see. Red, two tone centers. Blue. Yeah. Let's go a little bit faster and then we, we go to the light game. Like, I can go to the late game, guys, because there's not a real problem. It's going fast in, guys. We saw one fast Imperial here with Turks. So, maybe it's two AM players. Guys, both players, AM, Turks, both. No, MBL is auto the great. It's different Imperial. No, it's not different. It was with a castle and siege war shot. No, he did. He did hand cannoneers. Didn't make Janissars. Yeah. He's doing now a ram. Gonna go with Janissars and a petar. Gonna try to break in quick. We are live now, guys. We are live now, guys, which I love it because it's just in the right moment. And now we have the Janissers, the Ram, the Bombard Cannons that are going to come, Trebuchet, the Petar. How Red is going to stop this? Well, he's doing archery ranges, doing the fletching. It's a civilization that if you make now all the upgrades with Ballistic and so on, with the extra range, they can help, but you need to have a good micro. Who was the other guy that did the, the fast imp with Turks? Vasco de Gama? Imagine guys that the Gama is Hera on top of the brackets, Gamer Legion, and then Alexius Comenos is Leary, AM bottom, and both doing the same strategy in the map. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. Could be that or vice versa, you know? That's what I'm telling you, you know? But let's see. It was different strategy though, because the, I think it, it didn't do a castle, Vasco de Gama, right? Well, he's doing four RG ranges, so he know what to do. The thing is, he's gonna work. Yeah, man. Blue is playing amazing right now. He's doing a... A brutal strategy with Turks. It works a lot in this map, man. It really do a good job. Yeah, he just went hand cannoneers and one is stable to make a few hazards, I think. He needs few hazards to finish him, but he needs a barrack and a stable. He can do it. Because the skirmishers... But he has no ballistic, guys. Yeah, and with the bomber cannons, uh, you have to be careful. The skips can do the job. He still have 91 bullets, guys, and the map is really big. He can move. You need hazards, 100%, to really finish him. Otherwise, 
Turks will have a problem, guys. But all these skirmishes is not gonna be easy, man. Yeah, you have the traps, the skims are dying, he's still doing more skims. But if he's doing a barrack and one is stable... He's doing the barrack, guys, because he's gonna make this table now. But he's taking the tone centers. He's doing a brutal job. Okay. Fill it down, and another one down. Love you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. For the soup and for the wards. Yeah, now he's doing the skill bar and I'm all red. He's doing the plus four, but you still need this table, I believe. The plus, the plus four for the Janissars are gonna be really nice. He's taking more tone centers, but he still have a 87 bullets, which is, yeah, but are they working? Not really. A lot of our walking, not working. Just migration, mining goal. Doing a tone center. It's trying to move the economy. Doing the market. But now look at the TCs. Only one tone center for, for red. Oh boy. Skill bar in armor and double is stable. I think this player might be Leary or Hart, guys. Versus Ganji. What do you think, guys? It can be Leary now that we see because the first game was incredibly aggressive. Then with Dravidiansky won and make those palisades. This is Leary. I'm thinking because Leary has those sloppy games. That way he lost that one. I think this can be Leary. Blue is not throwing, man. Blue is destroying. He's going to bring now a few Hussars, even Camels. That's nice because he can feel that the knights are coming. It's a good throw, yes. 3-1! Alexius Komenos with the domination. Yes. It's a 3-1 here. Alexius Komenos versus Robert Giscard. Now my predictions here is Leary versus... Versus... Uh, versus Ganji. Leary with the fast him here because he hates to play the long games here. He hate to play the long games here. No, no, no. I think he's Leary because I'm thinking in the first game, very strong. And mostly with how he played in the Dravidians game, in the previous one. It what it made me think again that he is Leary. Thank you guys for still in the channel, even with the, my technical issue with the... With the... Yeah. Yeah, economy, 4k more resources, but you saw it, 23 minute Imperial, and Turks pass him is still working, guys, crazy stuff. Okay. Hopefully now the game is not going to have any problem. Definitely not, seems to be working. And I will play an ad, guys. I will play an ad. The next game is gonna be the most beautiful game. Okay, this is guys. If he is Leary, we're gonna know in this one. Islands, guys. Islands map. You know? Now we're gonna know what player it is. You know? We got to see Islands one more time. Yeah, the score is updated. I'm just putting everything, the civilizations and everything. I know it's going to be islands. Islands map. How do we know? With the gameplay. We're going to know. Obviously, with the game's play. Is it going to be Italians or Vikings? I think he's going to pick Vikings. And if he pick the Vikings, that's Leary. Leary thing. Because he's going to use Italians probably in Bay. No, actually, Persians can be in Bay, guys. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Johnny Toos! Let's go! 
Johnny Toos has just donated 58 euros and 40 cents. Thanks for your awesome casting. Let's go, baby. Yes, I wake up even from my from my from my uh, from my chair. Let's go, man. Nice, very nice. Thank you so much, Johnny. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, man. Vamos. Vamos. Always Skype when I see a Scarlet. Awesome. Thank you for the support, man. Really, really appreciate it. Really. Really, really appreciate it, man. Thank you, man. Awesome. Scarlet. Makes me always hype, guys. Always hype. Yeah. Yeah. Series 2 is not Jordan. Don't think it's Jordan. He can't play that great not not being in the game man but maybe you're right you know can you joseph whisper me this please whisper me i want to analyze what you said okay this is game number five right game number five guys here we are with game number five and it's portuguese versus italians Portuguese because Ganji want to go. Oh man. Who Oh, what happened with the game? It didn't load the names. B Give me a moment, guys. <laughs> oh, maybe maybe it's Capturage. I will open Capturage again. Nope. I will reload the games, guys. Actually, you're right. And I'm gonna do that. No, but Robert, his card is here. And you're right. Oh my god. Something is wrong, definitely, but there you go. Vamos! I will go faster up now. And Come on, man. Portuguese. 14. Yeah. I don't know what you think, but it's the first time we... Well, we didn't see many islands game fans got, but Portuguese is a very... You know... It's a Fightoria civilization, right? A Fightoria civilization. Well, Italians had more options than the Vikings. Italian has the galleys. The fire galleys and the cheaper upgrades. Well, you only can go galleys with uh, with the Vikings, you know, pretty much. So let's see. We have to wait. Forward dog and blue. Forward dog as well. Alexios Comenos. Two hour game. Two hour games. No, the islands has that cannot be two hours because before that, the player without Portuguese is dead. You don't have wood. You know, no wood, no, no nothing, you know? Yeah, we're live now. Okay. By the way, as, uh, as one YouTube viewer say, it's historically funny that Komenos fight with his card with Turks, you know? Why? He's telling this, guys. Oh, boy. Interesting, right? The hero. Okay. Yeah, I can put the total resources, but the the predictions are there. I will put the total resources later. You know? And not all the time. It's not needed all the time, you know? Yeah, for now, 
Not much to say. Use that blue is up very quick. 17 villages. Yeah, this kind of up times with 17 villages, three fishing ships. I know that these Italians, but it's very solid. They are very close. He's gonna make the second dock. He's not going for the transfer ship. I'm starting to be more convinced about that that we have both players here. He's doing galleys, no fire galleys. He has also a few different... I mean, if Blue see this quick, he will know that the dog might be here and then he can do damage. Let's see. He has a few seconds to have the advantage. He has the galleys too, double attacks. Portuguese with more HP, remember. And Blue. He's gonna find it, man. Look at the galleys. Look at the... This is the main island. This is the... The Middle Islands, and he's having luck, guys. Or maybe not. Or maybe... He see it! He see it, and he's coming quick. This is really, really good for Blue. Really good for Blue. Taking the fish already is super fast. He's having now the numbers. Now let's see the micro. More HP, but he took already one fishing ship. This is really, really, really lucky for Blue. You know? You know? Okay. He's coming with the third galley. He's gonna have the third galley soon there. Yeah, but that's the problem. Three dogs already. And he can't see it. He's doing the third dog now. Okay. So he will need the blast bit probably. He has the four galleys. Four galleys as well. But more HP, remember, 132. 120. He got now five galleys, so he need to go back. The good thing that he took a galley. A fishing ship, sorry. This palisade? Ah. You don't get this took, the villager. Interesting. Okay. Instead of babysit, you do the job. Let's see the micro. Micro, very important to try to know the players. Okay, more galleys. Fletching is so much needed here. And well, let's see. Three villages more. Because guys, look at Robert Giscard with over a minute idle TC, guys. Over a minute idle TC already. You know, a minute idle town center. Jan Sisika is Viper? The previous series winner is Viper? No. It's not. I think after analyzing all, probably the Viper is Kosrao. Kosrao versus Emperor Sigismund. Who do agree about that? For me, Kosrao feel like the Viper. To me. Kosrao played insane. I don't know who he beat, but he, he feels Viper to me. He feels Viper to me. Let me check the maps again. He played Islands with Bengalis, Lithuanian High Tiles, Aztecs. That Aztecs game also. When I saw how he played the Aztecs against Bohemians, yeah, man. Domination, honestly. Domination. Anyway, so many Galis here. And uh, blue is destroying red in 15 minutes, guys. Check the population. Blue is one of those players, guys. Blue is an OP player. Blue is an OP player, amigos. An OP player. Jan Siska 
I'm not sure who can be, but I don't think he's one of the top four players. He's someone that played good and strong, but still. I don't know, let's see. Uh-oh. Just look at the population. It's five bullets ahead, 17 galleys. Yeah, red is gonna go up quicker. I mean, he's using the market like crazy. Like crazy. An idle TC over two minutes. Obviously, if you don't make bullets for over two minutes, you can go up to Castellage. Even me can go up to Castellage, right? Yeah, but blue is gonna go up very soon as well. With eight villains more and six army more. The advantage is really big for blue. Really big. I don't care that he's going up to Castellage. Yeah. Italians after this village, he's up. And he has a lot more navy. He's just defending here. And look. Okay. Good micro there by red. Nice. But blue is up. It's 50 seconds difference only. Gonna make another house. He has the outpost. This is the only thing that you need to avoid. To don't get surprised landed. The map is small. He's not going with galleys. He's gonna take some fish. Well, he has no fish. Red has no fish. Yeah. Uh oh. Careful. He take it. Oh my god. The micro there. Look at the KD. 4-0. Or 0-4 in the Echo KD, then 6-2 in total. Both are going up quick, but 2 minutes, 15 seconds. Strong play by Blue, guys. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. What? Viper beat Leary, Dan Siski. What? In the previous in the previous series it was Viper versus Leary, you kidding me, right? The previous Leary was Viper versus Leary, someone said in the chat. Oh no way. Yeah, he's killing all. Yeah, blue is in a total domination. Two extra TCs. Red will never give up. Because red wants to go Fightorias, I believe. He's gonna boom now. Yeah. He's not even gonna make the World Galley upgrade. Blue is up. Look at the score difference. Extra tone center. With Italians, he's doing the upgrades that are cheaper. World Galley upgrade, Bozo, Botkin. He has Bozo and World Galley upgrade too. He's coming with some galleys. He needs to be careful here. But no Botkin. Oh, he can see it. Because of the outpost. That's really good, man. That's really good, the outpost, man. Sick. Really sick. He's expecting him to come. He's waiting him. He's controlling blue absolutely everything. Everything, guys. And now, he killed one fishing ship. Okay. But now, he's taking all. The navy, for sure. Few galleys, extra TC as well. And well, blue can have a better economy, for sure. I mean, it's only... Well, four fishy ships is something. 41 bullets, 37. Four bullets more because of a lot of idle time. Four minutes idle tone center. Four minutes. Now he's producing bullets, but hey. Those four minutes idle PC is there. While blue guys. Look the time. Idle TC for blue guys. Now he's idling. Idling now. It was 10 seconds till now. What the hell? Yeah, because he's now farming, three TCs, he's idling for one TC here only, okay, not bad, not bad, and well is, I think this game is over, even if you got Portuguese, I don't think he's gonna be able to get into the position where the Fightorias will matter, I don't know what you think, because he's taking the dogs now, He's doing some dog at the back. He will go around. He has a lot of galleys. He's going to take them all. And if you take all the water... That's it, guys. That's it. That's domination. You know?
<laughs> 1000 score behind red. He has not too many bullets behind because it's normal, you know, like you have three TC just spamming, you know. I don't know if he should do some fishing ships here, uh, blue. But having the water control, you get the dogs. You also can deny a lot of resources at some point. Because the map is very... Oh, he took the scout. That also means that you can land. I will do a transport ship now. It's time to transport and get the relics. He's doing the monks now. There's many relics in this map. Okay. I want to see an early landing. Oh, but that's something went wrong. One second, guys. Yeah, he's taking the dogs now. Completely. I mean, blue has red all surrounded, guys. Look. Look at blue gameplay here. It's fantastic. Red will need a castle. Because he's all over the map. Look. Oh my god. He's controlling everything, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow is quarterfinals. Tomorrow is quarterfinals. So he's getting super exciting because it's two days quarterfinals. And that's it. And then semis already. So, yeah. Go, go, go. Is Marco Polo? No, it's Heidi. And the granddad. Okay, another monk. Yeah, look at the resources. He's going up to Imperial quicker. He's taking the relics. Yeah, he can click up to Imperial already. He did actually, but he has a blue in the queue. Uh, blue player, guys, it's someone strong. Do you agree, guys? Yes, I will co cast with fire the semis and probably the finals. You know, with fire, and I will see for quarterfinals probably with Andy. Okay? I will talk to Andy to co cast, if not all, some quarterfinals because it's many games, you know, and we'll see. As Islam? Well, I've been asking Islam for, for years and he always said no, so not asking anymore, not gonna lie. I will be nice and say something else, but it is what it is. Are you gonna echo a stream with T90 again? I don't know, he didn't tell me anything. I don't know if he will tell me after this, but I will be down if he, if he want. Don't forget survivalists, it's not possible. Survivalists is installed in Japan. So that means that survivalists might have really bad times to co-cast. That's why we are not co-casting. He is just with the opposite time zones. You know? Yeah, he's gonna make the castle here. But honestly, I don't mind not co-casting with anyone also, because I can interact with you a lot. When when I co-cast with people, there's zero interaction with the chat, you know? Which, you know. And since we don't have a lot of viewers, like we have okay viewers, but not a lot, we can have a lot, a chill, a chill stream, you know? He's in the castle here, he has 2,000. And well, Red is just trying to now make the dogs here. But I don't know if he will make some landing. I mean, I don't want to see this game going for for the Fightoria. But this is what Red is trying to do, right? To, to make the castle now. Remember that he's doing Carrax, that is a plus two extra. Portuguese is very strong.
Fat Blue is sending Billy's because he wants to land. And he will land here, probably. We'll drop a castle. I hope so. He will drop a castle here. Oh, no. He's actually just taking the relic. Very nice. We'll take both islands. Probably better than landing. This is a good play, actually, to get all the all the resources. Yeah, he's stealing the relic, doing the castle. This is better than the other. He's 2,000 score ahead. He's now starting to make galleys. No, how much army got Robert Giscard, guys? How much army got Ganji right now, guys? Heavy demolition and he got... Zero navy, guys. Zero army, zero navy, zero man. Holy moly, man. What the hell? Really? Yeah, pretty sick. Going with the Galleons. Heavy demos. And? He's doing a castle there. Okay. He could go. Look at the Cannon Galleons, guys. Elite Cannon Galleon. Hey, it's game over, man. Even with Portuguese, it's impossible, man. Just doing the castle, but it's gonna be down. He can do traps from here, even if he wanted. Yeah. Well, it's a very bad map, as we all know. And with games that are one-sided like this one, even worse. Right? Yeah, he can take all his, all his resources from the coast. The castle is down already. And if he send everything here, he might kill the dogs, might kill the castle too. Please, Brett. It's bye-bye. Nah, it's over completely. Portuguese don't have any map. Portuguese might be much stronger for Team Islands, you know? Team Islands, in my opinion. But hey, I might be wrong. Okay. Nice lumber camp. Well, when he killed this castle, it's over. He's starting to make the Phytorias. But guys, the Phytorias will be killed by the Galleons. 82 army, 22. Blue has a lot of navy. Heavy demos, okay. Micro in like... Yeah, he's Ganji, man, 100%. He's 100% Ganji with the dancing. But he faced a very strong flyer. A very, very strong flyer. It's only 12 galleys, 73. He did one Fightoria. His economy, as you can see, is kind of cuckoo. He got one relic. His opponent, seven relics. And whoever Alexius Komenos it is, is playing really well and now dominating. GG, good look next. Alexios Komenos with a total and brutal domination. And now we'll check everything and we will check what T90 chat think about this, right? About who they are. Military. 45, 2.21. Economy, 9,000 resources more. And technology, ooh, as you can see, pretty strong with the Imperial time, but guys, 23 army, man. 23 army. Very nice one. Very nice one, guys. Very nice one. Okay. Let's check what they said, guys. The APM doesn't appear, guys. It's using another capturist to don't sell the APM, amigos. No APM. Well, they are checking some replays, I believe. Let's take the replays, guys. Yeah, let's take the replays. You know? I think this game was really, really, really interesting. Look how blue... That, this confused me a little bit. Because this is an incredibly aggressive approach. But then he did a brutal macro from here. You know? Who got the highest level gameplay of the tournament in your opinion, Joseph? Who? Series 7? 
Alfred de Alpaca and Jan Siska? Uh, 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 uh. I don't know. And who you think they are? Viper versus Leader in City in City 7? No way. No way. Definitely not. No way. Because Lear is it was in the last series. As simple as that. In series eight. Yes. Ball Cito Series seven? Uh no. I think Alfred the Alpaca has to be someone someone really fast because I was checking the um, the games with the arches and he was controlling really well, like very high APM. But I don't think that series was that high gain le high level play. Alfred was Sebastian. It can, it can be. But I don't think that was the best level gameplay. Definitely not. Pals was against Hera in number one. Pasco de Gama versus Pachacuti. But we don't have any... How is call it? We don't have any... Mm, any really big match that face it. Seems the brackets are all random. There was not a single that it was some big names facing in the first round. I think it has to be some big name in the first round. You know? Yeah, well, he can have the highlights. He he contract the... I think he ha having the production that that he contract... Uh, well, NAC, they, they are the guys that they contract on King of the Desert 4. You know, the Red Bull guys, so it's, it's good, man. It's good to have the, the replace. Do they know who they are playing against? No, they not, but they can guess. Gary lost 4-0, but seemed like two strong players. Well, they are all strong players, you know. The scores is, is not always, like, the most important, you know, if the games are close. It's true that Gregory was two hours games, you know, so. Horakasu. I have the feeling that Koshrao versus Emperor Sikis Moon can be Viper versus a big name as well. Oh, yeah. Good point. Good point, Sean. Yeah, but I'm, I'm confused to who is Jan Siska, honestly. I, I'm almost sure that the Viper is Kosrao. I'm almost sure that the Viper is Kosrao, honestly. I'm almost sure that the Viper is Kosrao. Need to analyze all tonight and tomorrow and I will I will take a conclusion here, you know. This is the knight that was casting with Dash. That's a very cool guy. I met him for the first time in NAC. And great guy. And uh, do really well. Obviously, he doesn't have the, the knowledge of the game that some people does. But he he has the skills to compensate that, for sure. Kozrao 100% the Viper? Maybe. One day before was Viper. Who was Viper? Who was Viper? Kajamada? No. Thank you for Viper need two hours to win against gods? Yeah, he's not a AoE2 guy. He's from League of Legends, I think. Technotronic! Looking forward for the predictions? Sumangaru was a big name too, thinking in Tato. 
I have said that I think Sumangaru, Sumangaru and Gajamada has to be two important names in my opinion. Piper was Gajamada? No, man. I mean, let me check the games. He won Kumans versus Burgundians by pass. Georgians versus Gods, then Bengalis versus Dravidians, and then Saracens versus Lithuanians. I need to check the bot. I don't even remember well the games because the second game just made me exhausted. That was two hours game. You remember? Sumangaru was the Viper. Sumangaru. Er, no, I think Viper is Kotrao. Sean, Viper has to be Coach Rao, really. Come on, I want to see what, what they say. What is the bet for the T90 chat? It's funny, you know? Viper is Kotrao, definitely. The Queen Walls and Perfect Macro were such a giveaway. Who is Mr. Yo? I think Mr. Yo is Gajamata. No. I think Mr. Yo is Gajamata, probably. Who is Alexius Komenos? Let's see what they say. What T90 chat say. Well, they are going according to what they didn't vote. Leave your heart. I see there. I see a lot of heart. I don't know what you mean. Hera made the Viper like we will, what, what? Well, every chat reflects usually the, the what the caster is talking the most. If, for example, the casters are telling the most that is hard, they will probably vote that. If I say the most that is Lear, you will say Lear probably. It's normal. Maybe Vinch was Alexios? No, Alexios played really too well. I don't think Vinch is that in that shape right now. Honestly. Hard Leo Sebastian. Well, it's similar that we have said here, more or less. But I think Hard played very strong, but not as smooth as this play this player has played i think alexios has played very smooth and what they said in robert giscard let's see mr yo is gajamada trust me sean i think mr yo is gajamada honestly i think so Well, I think they are guessing properly here. Kanji is the most voted. In any viewers listen my channel, guys. They come here to check and then they vote there. It's what it is, guys. Doubt vote. Why you vote doubt? Man. Well, there's many people, so. But Ganji is gonna be there, you know. I think Tato is Sumangaru. Sumanguru. I I'm thinking more about the games. Jimbo Rowe? 
Mm, Jim Burrow did. Jim Burrow might be Winchester, guys. Jim Burrow is Winchester. Jim Burrow is Winchester. Yeah, Jim Burrow is Winchester almost 100%. He played really well, cut a few games. He won with the hands and he made a pause. Guys, he made a pause and said, sorry, drop 14. He's the only one that typed that. He's the only one that typed that. You know? Do you think Sito qualified? Maybe Sito is Jan Siska. Well, I changed my mind, man. I, I changed my mind, you know? Because now I have all the whole thing, you know? And Mr. Yosu played better than that, you know? I was thinking because of the sieves. I don't know, man. What the hell, man? So Manguru had a lot uh, a lot of Miss Micro to be Tato. Then who, who can be? It's not that Tato is insane with the micro. He's more better with he's better with the macro and with the strategies, you know. Who typed like Vinch Jim Buro? Jim Buro. Anyway, guys, I will make a video. I will analyze it, and tomorrow we will have the definitive predictions before the quarterfinals. Are you happy with that? I will give you all my top eight tomorrow before the quarterfinals. Okay. But now I'm gonna dinner. Can I dinner? Please let me dinner. People on YouTube, thank you for subscribe. Thank you for giving thumb ups. More thumb ups. We didn't get even 200 thumb ups on YouTube. Disaster, guys. Disaster. But hopefully you enjoy. Okay. I'm gonna close the YouTube uh, the YouTube uh, uh, broadcast right now. Thank you, everyone. Thumb up, subscribe, and leave a commentary. Okay. Okay. I stopped the YouTube, guys.